Day, the new day for real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for real talk. The show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. Yes, 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 yes. I would, I would say that something there. Yay, yeah, I would say that. Yes, yes. I would sing another song there again. Eh? Yes. Wait, wait, go again. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Though. Munga, yeah, I, yeah, but I know Munga. It's a Shelly and a Rebel. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say. Hold on. <laughs> then just that a while ago. I want to say good night. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. This is Shelly. Yes. For those who don't know. All right? Yeah, we know all the persons who listen to styles all the while. Yeah, kind of used to the voice here, so some of them won't need any introduction. But the newcomers yeah, are those who are listening for Lady Cleo's voice. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Shelly Ann is here tonight. All right, so lucky in, lucky in, lucky in, lucky in, call a friend, send out a WhatsApp message. If you have credit, send out a normal message. But tell them that real talk is on. So no matter what I'm going to do, we are here to keep your company tonight, this here Friday night. All right? Lock in. We're there. Check in. Check, 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 check. You know, I will do that. <laughs> All right? So right now, you can go on our Styles FM fan page and lock, log on. Lock in yourself to see what's happening in the studio live, all right? Because we're there, all right? And uh, it's a little bit like, like when you're having bad, bad weather <laughs> in the world, you know? You know, it's a little bit like, like when you're having some, some um, disaster and, and it has passed through a couple countries well, you know? It's almost like the same thing, but not really. What a big up everybody. <laughs> everybody <laughs> no. no, I have some people, right? Who I thought we were friends. No? Or at least if we are not friends, I thought that you know you at least liked me a little. You can't shade me so bass, man. No man. I feel like cry. I feel like just ball. Well, the last song that Cassidy played before I came on, Heal the World, World, uh, Michael Jackson, it's just, I've been listening to, you have the Earth song, that, that was the Earth song, right, Cassidy? Then you have Man in the Mirror, and another one. I was listening to some Michael Jackson today, and that was one of, three, three songs came up. And I was saying that, you know, it, they're most, most appropriate right now for us mankind because at this point in time, we need all the healing that we can get because we're not going so good. You know what I say? We're not going so good with each other. And in my opinion, it's because of greed why we're all suffering one way or another, right? Man in the mirror. It's a time for us to pay attention to that song. You know, look to ourselves first before we actually look any place else. Because at this point in time, we need, we need healing. And the healing cannot come from anywhere else, but it starts with us. Because no amount of tablets that we take is going to make any difference with some of us if we don't change who we are and how we look at this world, right? Um, we have the Hurt song. Yes, that's another I was listening to today. So, yeah, a couple of minutes gone. Let me just do some quick housekeeping before we go to the break because I want everybody that's listening to jump on board. Remember, the local number to call us is 876-453-1444. 876-453-1444. That's the number that has a WhatsApp attached to it too. So 
can WhatsApp us on it. You can call us on it. You can send us normal SMS on it, right? If you are at foreign and you want to listen, call 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. All right. If you are in the US of A, you can dial us on the go. So if you're driving in your car to some place, Remember, you can just dial the number and you can listen in to Styles FM. I tell you, you know, so we're everywhere. The entire world is listening to us because right now we're covering over 200 and odd country. I always say 200 and odd, 200 and enough. Right? We don't want to tell you so 100 or how much because even on Tuesday, there was somebody from another country that locked in the first time we're hearing from a person. So welcome 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 if you are in the u.s and you want to dial this number you listen to it you know you drive home from work are you driving to go pick up somebody somewhere to go to dinner or something you can dial 712-832-2772 the number is 712-832-2772 if you are in the uk the number is 033-0606-0944. That number to change. The number in the UK is 033-0606-0944. If you are in Canada, do the same. Dial the number 647-957-9637. That is 647-957-9637. Styles FM on the go number. Yes. If you're on the go, dial the number. You'll hear from us. All right? We're going to hear. Eh? Yeah, man. Facebook. Can, if you go on Facebook, no. Right? To a Styles FM fan page, you can see inside the studio. <laughs> right? That's Styles FM. And remember, we spell our styles S T Y L Z F M 96.1. It's our fan page. Go like it so that you can start seeing our content when we post it, right? Styles FM is also on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. On Instagram, we are at Styles FM. You know that little at sign there? Eh? That little A there with the round something on it? Yes, Styles FM. Remember, we spell our styles S T Y L Z. That's how our styles is spelled. Can we show off enough? Right? We're everywhere. And so, I have a little, you know, want to talk to you guys a little bit, real talk. When we get back from the break, we want to have a little, a little word with you. Hopefully, we can. You know, try and digest some little things. All right, but me here say, I gotta give you this for, for, for think about while while we go on the break, because me understand now say some gloves missing from the Kingston Public Hospital, <laughs> right? And uh, we don't know. <laughs> right now, it's been probed, right? So we're gonna see how that go. We're definitely going to see how that goes. Because if something goes so then really, 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 somebody needs to um, say what happened. All right? Somebody needs to say what happened. All right, so it's now. We just take an early break and come back. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. Hey, Peter McKenzie. How are you? 909, who are you? Let me see, you know. Uh, let me see what Peter Mackenzie is saying before we jump off on the, on the... Jamaicans want to heal themselves. What oh, <laughs> uh, All right, do you hear what happened? Uh, Real Talk is sponsored by... Okay, then, all right, Real Talk is sponsored by VJ Printing Services, found right here at 4 Baumbuck Avenue, all right, they sponsor Real Talk and Nestle Native Entertainment Stage and Lighting Services are also located here. Anything entertainment right now, 
Yeah, man, and lights. Check native. Yeah. I mean, go follow, go follow Nessal. It's N E S A L on Instagram and you'll see what they can do because the thing is normal. All right. I said it, Shelly. All right. So, Peter Mackenzie said Jamaican want to heal themselves from rumbar and church. Every parish I go, every bend is a rumbar. Boy, I mean, I know no, Peter. Anyway, we're taking a break now. Forward on the other side because I want to have a conversation with you guys. All right. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com. Or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Yo, this is Jatty the Reggae Ambassador. Join me alongside Jatty Jr. right here on Styles FM each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Skat, Rock Steady, and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. Remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back. Well, I don't know where you're going to go. Well, I don't know where you're going to go. Well, I don't know where you're going to go. Well, I don't know where you're going to go. Stop it again. Yeah. <laughs> People, anybody that's on Facebook, can see where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah. that's on Facebook, we see where I'm going. Because... <laughs> um, finish put this in for me now, please. Yeah. So, no, my name, my name is Shelley, yeah? 909 is S H E L L Y. Yeah, put us. Yeah, man, Shelly. <laughs> Go on our Facebook page. Right? Hmm? Size FM on Facebook. Um, Size FM. Yeah, so, yeah, as I say, I want to talk to you a little bit. Go on our Styles FM page. 
if you want to see us in studio, Styles FM 96.1, log into it. And you can see Prestige and I. Prestige, say goodnight to, to our listeners before we start the... Yeah. 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 I want to say goodnight. What up, Baritone? The Styles FM listeners. Yeah. I just want to say goodnight. Me there. Nice, yeah, man. <laughs> May I listen to Shelly from night, you know? Where you know, see? Yeah? Where she do? Shelly? Yeah? Where Shelly there? Where she there? She there? No, me say, where she do? Where she do? You don't know nothing. Oh. Whoa. What happened? Whoa. What? Yeah. Me I roll in. Because oh. I have people, you know, so I'm late. Oh. Because I'm not growing anything. Oh. I want thing with me, you know. Mm. I'm straightforward, you know. Oh. I'm not growing anything. All the time. Can you recall me out? You're straightforward every time. You don't call me out. Not really, you know. Sometimes. I know you don't call me out. It depends. I hear you say, Prestige. Oh. Because I realize say, you never mention and you don't even say X, Y, Z because you know what find a little bit there and call me out. No. My co-host X, Y, Z and Ray, Ray, Ray is not here and X, Y, Z. You get me? No. We can't talk, you know? No, man. We can't talk. Go, look here. Me just there go and bill. Yeah. For, for when you're up in, you just, me just go like Miss you. Me say, me can't talk. Me can't talk. <laughs> me don't forget to talk. I say, me late. Oh. Me late. Okay. Yeah. That no problem case. about that. You did not introduce me, but me late. I mean, no, you as a girl like this, you're not going to go into that kind of things here. You're going to just go and do your thing and run your things and roll your thing for the every day, right? But I'm late. Hmm. Yeah. At the first, I say, I'm late. I always say, I'll be in time. Yeah, in time. <laughs> yeah that's Where a I good go way on. to put it. What one? Oh, well, it's, it's a little. All right. Yeah. We know we have to get into a Vatma panting, but we have some little social things that go on. Yeah, we, we don't want to. We, we have to. We, we, well, we have to discuss them. We can't glide over them, slide over them. Ah, no, we have to discuss them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, on my way here, I get yeah. to, and I said, come wake up from man and I clean down my house, man. Top to bottom, you know. Cut, 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 cut. Eh? Yeah. It's not a movie scene. Oh, yeah, me walk cut. Oh, you look so sexy tonight. Me? Wow. What you talking about? And when me wear shorts and shorts, skirt and frack come down, you never tell me so. No, 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 no. My life is in a jeans. Oh, yeah. You see, you see the top here, Marvin? Mm. I'm, a, I'm actually a branding this top. Oh, yeah. are you a brand? No, one of my brand, but I have my own brand, but this yeah. is not my brand. But this is my first, the first time I got to. Yeah. Yes, this was the first. And you know and what I like? Right here in Portland. Yeah. And if you look, you realize I'm not in the planet. All right. If you don't want to see what prestige you're talking yeah. about, go on with Star Speech. And, and you know what I like? Mm-hmm. I like, like color? women. Mm-hmm. Who wear jeans mm-hmm. with no belt like it, oh, just it. like that. Uh, yeah, it looks sexy <laughs> to me. Uh, I don't know about anyone is uh, just sexy <laughs> like that. I have and you look at like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You look sexy, <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> I'm Pete, telling you. Peter Aaron, we're sitting there. Let's see. <laughs> see Peter Aaron, we're sitting there. Peter, get out of here, my. I want to my youth. Get out of here. Yeah. Peter, we are going back there. Yeah. Peter, one thing, you know, let me tell you something. And Styles FM. You see, Shelly, Sancho, and Lady Cleo, they are my girls. On that night. Who don't know that number? On that yet. day. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, my girls. And even so, sometime off the air. Uh, so you go. <laughs> <laughs> when you get in... Yeah, well, you're getting in trouble, Fiwa. We say <laughs> off the air. <laughs> we don't, so we be getting like we don't socialize. On my soul. You want me to post the picture, then yeah. me and you take a party. <laughs> <laughs> Talk. Put me out there. Eh? Put me well, out there. The Just put me if out there. If you don't want to see picture, then tell me. No problem. Put me out there. Because we don't know where you're going so there. far. Put me out there. Eh? Oh, my God. I've so, versed so, so my soul. So when we broke you up the other day, the other night at the event, me what, I'm married, I wasn't you know? your girl then? Me I'm married. But, so if you're married, me what happened? I'm married. Yeah, look here. I should be like for all. You see, when you're married, yeah. you have to make sure say your wife come and is come baptize. I don't say about baptized, I don't about married. No, you have to bring her come baptize, meaning you have to induct her into the styles. All of fame. May we do that? I oh, no, no, I get involved in that. I, I, I will go. do that. <laughs> you don't have to get involved in that. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm married. 
they say if you leave me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said, no, yeah. sir. Put on clothes on the argument. Leave Shelly out of it. Yeah. Hey, Shelly. <laughs> you mean <laughs> <up> now? <laughs> What? Oh, the father! The father come inside. <laughs> oh. What the father about? No. Yeah. Mm. Hey, yeah. dear man, what's up? Yeah. All right. Mm. So, since they on my way here, they say, mm. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. See, father come here while yeah. again. Father what Jacko, good night to you, sir. Good night to you. Oh, you yeah. wicked like. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah. is Jacko? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? No. Why you get yourself in that trouble? Why you get yourself in that trouble? Yeah? I don't want to call you out. Yeah, yeah. Why did you taste up mouth? Yeah. Taste up mouth. Yeah? That's it, you know what I mean? My God. You smell it? Yeah. And tease you. One little piece of jackfruit. Yeah. A jackfruit? You smell it? A jackfruit. Jackfruit. Yeah. Come in here while I go. And this. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And this tease up with jackfruit. Why may I tell you? People? Mm. Me tell you, yeah. oh, me love jackfruit. Yeah. Me we see me dinner, I see the jackfruit, and no say, me no business with the food. Mm. Yeah, man, jackfruit mm. time. No, but yeah, yeah, yes, man. Hey, hey, yeah, see jackfruit killer, you know. Me know. Cassidy. Me know. Cassidy. Me know, man. Yeah. Me know, man. Miss J, give me a jackfruit, right? Mm -hmm. I, but me tell you, I me cut jackfruit. Mm -hmm. I me, me left part of jackfruit. So I say, Cassie, this is yours. And X Y Z. I remember. Cassie said, Press, you can't make your jackfruit spoil. <laughs> but that's true. That's what I said. That's true. Spoil. That's true. Can't spoil. You, you have to eat it now. Yes. Yeah. Stars FM, good night. Hello. Listen. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. You can't want to talk again. You sound sweet. It's all right, Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Yeah, you sit down in front of Press Teeth. Daniel. I'm going to eat jackfruit. But so what you say? We're going to sit in front of prestige. We're going to sit. You know, I know that jackfruit is one of the biggest aphrodisiacs in the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why I love it. It turn you on? Right now, if they ever make the cologne feet, me brand it. <laughs> 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 you know, say, I choose something. But you say, my three girls are styles mm -hmm. on the day. Yeah. And, and him said, the night. He said, even off the day. No, no, man. no, no. As she said, she said night. Him said, night As and, she and, said. and the day. Yeah, and Shelly said. And I said, sometimes. Um, let me say, oh, you say half, half, half you, you said half. half I, I may ask if I want to get me in trouble. Are you a team of boys? Why is it? I'm missing me. I got married. Listen, I know some of my brethren wicked like that. In a man, but no, that I look, I'm not wicked. What wicked in what way? <laughs> in what way? <laughs> Man, they put prestige in one place so you can't come out of No, I don't want to get myself in that trouble. No, no, no. you know why you get prestige in that trouble? That, Daniel, you cannot get me in any trouble. Don't get yourself in any trouble. Prestige are done. Prestige are bars. In, that is, that is, that is, that is, but me, I won't say you not get yourself in any trouble. How? Oh, you mean how? Oh, my God. Oh. Say it again, Dan. Hey, me say me, I hope you, hey, a woman will act like you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And walk when they would like how you walk him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody oh. must be there, you know? So, so Dan, oh. you know, you're, you're not sitting on my walk. <clears throat> hey, me see everything in your walk. All right. <clears throat> so. Yeah, man, your walk tells it all. All right. <clears throat> so, so. <clears throat> <laughs> so there's no two way to it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Nobody can't hey, bad me up, man. Stage. Yes. She walk like she's a mash up somebody, you know. Man. Well, <laughs> Donald. Hey. Donald. Yes, sir. Don't put yourself in a position to get mashed up by her. Now, listen. Hey, I want to tell you, I only tackle the things them that I can manage, you know. Yes. I don't go beyond that. And you know you know my situation yeah. already. Yeah. <laughs> Things where you can't handle you leave it alone. But looks is this you see even now. Looks. Let me tell them all the while, say, looks are deceiving. 
I cannot mash so evil hands. Tell me, say, that, that, that bad work they were say, that, that, that wicked work they were say. Mm-hmm. I just deceiving walk. Sometimes in life. I never said that. I pressed it. Say, look, I'm being deceiving. I say yes. Yeah. Because like me said, they look like she done mash up somebody so I don't know. No, sir. Yeah. Me. me nice and calm. Then can't I, even mash hands. If you, are the, if you are in the position, right? Yeah. That position, right? Yeah. yeah. That you want to get mash up, then you can tackle. All right, Baba. Yes. Well, me will take your advice, you know, because Simple I know you're a very good advisor when you come out to certain things. You if, if you are not in that position... You leave it alone. Leave it alone, right. I, I, I will take your advice, yeah. honestly. Yes. But I want to tell you something. The, the statement where she make was such a broad statement. Yeah. That I said to myself, uh, when I grow up, I want to be like prestige. You know? Why you have to use me? You know, have other people they can use. <laughs> Why my name? Leave well, me alone. If you can't have the best trio <laughs> during the days. Yeah. And on the off days. Yes. <laughs> like <you>. <laughs> <laughs> and the Leave off days. Like 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 yeah, I <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm just but working. Big up on the still. Big up real talk. Now we're yes. here on the topic. Yes. Now we're here to participate. Now we're here to go on, you know? Yeah, I'm just, just working. But mm. big up yeah. on the self, man. Right? Yeah. And but they are going to listen. We yeah. call him back when we need to call him back. You see, man? Yeah. Uh, uh, and later on, you're going to call him later on. All right. Because you have to. All right, Baba. Come from back in the days when we are grow. You know what time back it is. In the days. Hey, you, you know that. Them little, you remember them, them, them out house where the people them used to have them call it outside toilet. We're not getting him something yet. All right. So later. later. All right. Keep cool. your credit. Don't call nobody else. <laughs> Save every size if I'm here. All right, bye bye. Love every time. time. Cool. Donald yeah, cool. Thompson. <laughs> yeah. AKA Kong. It's from out of Land Settlement. Yeah, Shelly. Mm? You're looking so nice and beautiful. Thank yeah, boy, you. Boy, I tell you, but me I work, I don't know. It's a thing about me and you. You know? We are. I don't know, 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 I Yeah? You know, so we don't style scholars. Tell the people, them. Them, they out there looking at me and say, what's going on? Tell them, what's going on? Tell them, tell them. You know, because if they want my mouth, you know, if they want my mouth, the phone is going to ring off. It can be nothing but good things. Eh? Nothing but good things. Because I don't say it now, girl. Yeah. I like. I like it, too. Yeah. I miss it before earlier on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The jeans without belt. Eh? That means they fit. Stand up. Whoa. 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 <laughs> yeah. I just stand up and only, I go on the panel. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you see Cassie smile, Cassie just. <laughs> and me, I tell you, you know, Cassie smile and laughing, and Cassie just laughing. <laughs> Leave Cassidy alone. Like Cassidy laugh a lot. Where you no. about? No. Cassidy not laugh like that. Joke you know. And we Cassidy see a stand-up on and a go. And a model. No. We start this as can't tell us. Not, not set up more Cassidy. Cassidy always a smile. Come on. Me say, when Cassidy a while ago, tell us. Me tell us. Cassidy go down to tell us. Shelly, please sit down. Please sit down. I don't hurt on my head. <laughs> so, yeah. while I was on my way down here, somebody yeah. share something, you yeah. know, some 25 Cases of um, masks and gloves was stolen from KPH. Mm. Them find them still, but mm. they were stolen. Mm. I saw with people them are rolled on. When you so steal, what about the yeah, why, 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 from, why? No, I'm saying because people they are in high demand. Remember, I say everybody are buying masks and gloves, you know, oh. trying to protect themselves yeah. from virus. Yeah. yeah, right. So when you take. <laughs> see, see, at, I said, me know. Ras, we Rastris. are going. Yeah. Ras, me, me know. She said, me know Cassidy, and all he does is smile yes. all the way. Yeah. yeah. Rastris, big of a save every time, yeah? Love every time. Every time. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What may I say, Shelly? Hello. Yeah. Um, I think we have a call on the 954. Hello? 
Hello. Okay. All right. A76. So, right? Mm-hmm. A76. Four five three. Oh, Miss said nine fourteen forty four. Yeah, that's the local number to call our yeah. WhatsApp and text. We don't take calls on the WhatsApp, all right? Oh. Um, Jesus, I'm father. Who that know? Boy, Shelly. Right. Shelly. Now stand up again. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> oh, you must see Miss. I show you. You see me I show you. Yeah. And then I see your lips. Yeah, then I see your lips yet? Yeah, man. Then I see your lips yet? They must have seen it eh? if they're on on a wall. Oh, it's a eh? The glow. It's going, right? Eh? Lips they look juicy. Oh. It's juicy. Oh, oh my god, I'm yeah. in my soul. Yo, yeah, we are here on Stans <laughs> FM. Now we talking about uh, Shelly. <laughs> Glowing lips. Juicy lips. Yeah. Stars FM. Yeah, man, yeah. we're there. We could have never mm. been anywhere else tonight but on Stars FM. Hey. Hmm? I tell you, I'm in a good mood tonight. Just me. You know? And talking to people about the, the virus they are going on. I mean, yeah. you know, say, well, they're not, I forget, nervous about this thing, but at the same time, it's all about I'm, awareness. I'm not saying that. Yeah, it's awareness. I'm not going to say, say, yes. I'm not going to yeah. say they, they must not. Because sometimes, yeah. in order for persons to do better, they have to get into a little more. Yeah, you know it's know awareness. Say? Yeah. So, it's here. As mm. I, I last two weeks ago, mm. That Tuesday, the Tuesday before, I was I was telling persons that it's not a matter of <coughs> if it's coming, mm-hmm. it's when. Yeah. And today I saw they released a list of persons who were confirmed to be infected. Yeah. And one of the gentlemen was here from February. Mm-hmm. From when? February. I think yeah. it said the 25th. So that goes to show... <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> well, on. I come in too, no? mm. That goes to show that the, f- the first mm. person who was um, confirmed positive mm. wasn't the first person to, con- to, to actually bring it here. Yeah. It's just that she was the first person who turned up yeah. and tested positive for it. Because he has been here since he flew, on, he flew into the country, I think, on the 25th of February. February. Like yeah. yeah. So it's just. We, it's as there's so much yeah. that's gonna come from this, yeah. And <coughs> a lot of persons are not seeing the magnitude of what this virus is going to bring. Mm-hmm. A lot of us are mm-hmm. gonna be out of jobs, and nobody is saying how persons' bills will be paid. You know, me I say because a wallipa we live hand to mouth, a wallipa we live paycheck to paycheck. Mm. So when the, the place that we work closed down, what are we going to do? Yeah. I'll- because the thing about it is like we are a third world country. We are not a first world country where the United States could say X Y Z and we we and P X Y Z. Get me I say, but we <laughs> we and deliver. Yeah, share with you. You want to share that with you know, them? Miss Uri them. Man. Share it with them. Miss Uri them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> share to them. <laughs> Just share it. Yeah, no. Yeah. So Cause sure. then why no we laugh about you know. No. <laughs> people, yeah. I'm yeah. just persons are texting on the WhatsApp, right? So yeah. I'm just yeah. No one again me look up and we so share the message them, yeah. right? But yeah. we are talking about our topic now. We don't want to get half tangent and then. Yeah. So <clears throat> the reason why I say that is some persons work by like me. I yeah. do sales. If I don't sell anything, I don't make anything. Yeah. There are other persons like me where if are is there going to be something in place for people who work, say for instance, you work at a supermarket, and if that supermarket should close its door for like a week or two weeks, should in case the prime minister I say, all right, anywhere where because them say no public gathering. Yeah. And I hear you know they are thinking about like supermarkets and places like <clears> that because <throat> that's a public gathering. Because when you're going to the supermarkets, there are huge amount of people in there. Yes. So are they going to serve it through a little window? You call for two pound of flour and two pound of rice and serve it through a window. What's what's gonna happen? Are those persons going to be paid for the time off? You're not at work for two weeks. Are you going to be paid for those two? Are those, are those things going to be put in place? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for instance, you have restaurant owners. Right? People who has bars and clubs 
Uh, how are they going to survive through this all when they're place, places of business? Because I tell you in a prestige, I was having a conversation yesterday with somebody and I was saying to them, I bet you before the weekend is done, we're going to have up to eight people infected. And by the time we could have fall asleep the night, is it that this morning me have a call person and I say, remember what we were talking about yesterday? And the person said yes. Me say yes. And by the time next week we come, you're going to hear so 16. Because that's just what's going to happen. It's a virus and it's going to just duplicate. <coughs> just over like and that. over again. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Night, night on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah we want to big up with Facebook people. Am I right? We don't feel like we are leaving out at all. So big up to everybody that's watching on our Styles FM page, Facebook page, me, Prestige, and Cassidy, it's on here still? All right, it's on Cassidy's page. So it's on the Styles FM fan page, it's on my page, it's on Prestige's page, and Cassidy's page. Right? So it's not just, um, so yes, the supermarkets would have made their monies. Mm -hmm. The pharmacies would have made their monies because right now they are saying those are the only two entities that they are thinking they want to keep open, mm -hmm. the pharmacies and the supermarkets. And I'm like, crowds going to the supermarket. We all need food, right? So <clears throat> the, those places where people gather, whether to get food or to get medicine, still crowded areas. What's going to happen to the people them who own them little, them little bar? Little What's going to happen to the people them who selling at the market? Yeah. Right? The people them who push are uncared when persons are not going to work. So children are not going to school. They're thinking about taxi operators. What's going to happen when people are not going anywhere? Because I've started walking from the day me here say it go around. I walk more than how I drive in mm -hmm. public transportation. Yeah. So what going to happen to him and them who are running them taxi? And run them bus. And not even that, they are more vulnerable. Exactly. Well, that too. Yeah. That, that is why I'm saying eventually some sort of yeah. lockdown will have to be done where people cannot be in too much of a public space. So, what's mm. going to happen to them people? Eh? How people are going to pay them bills and everything like that? So, some people are <coughs> running up and down and panicking about catching it. Brother, as far as you see, there's no escaping it. You can wash your hands some more and sanitize some more. At the end of it, the important part... <laughs> at the end of it, yeah. the important part is after you have caught it. What's going to happen? Because, yeah. because it's, it's... All right, just now I'm coming. I walk from my house. I got to the supermarket and I bought something. I exchange money with somebody. I got into the cab exchange money with the cab driver so it's like put the money in my in, in my purse so even if me wash my hands the money already hit my bag and in my purse so if it's the virus is on there it's already in my belongings so when you, i go back for that <coughs> money even if my hands were washed it's on the money shelly you know what I mean? even that the facilities right the places right the government prepare for things like this no right they're not prepared for things like this you see my confirm all right let's take this right? call prestige stars fm good night welcome to real talk hey Charles, what's up nothing much work one and none i'm good enough yeah good over here <clears> too. at least at least at least i think i'm good yeah, we'll be good. We'll be all right. Well, you know, celebrating who come out of the cruise ship um, two weeks ago. Yeah. I'm think, thinking the good, too. Well. <laughs> and then and then if, if show symptoms two weeks ago. Well, I'm speaking it into being, you know. You know. So, <clears throat> so, you're, so you're, you're right. They brought up, brought up the question before, like, you know, oh, you know, is it possible that he might have had it before and no show sign? Yes. Because the incubation period, um, even though I don't think, I still don't think they're on top of this virus yet. Because the incubation <laughs> period they're saying is between 2 to 14 days. Mm -hmm. Some even, I hear some saying that can even go up to 20 something days. Because from mm -hmm. my research done, um, Dan Dan, it's like this virus, they're saying it, 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 it works just as though... It, they're saying it's like a mixture of the Ebola and the HIV virus. That, that's, that's how the virus right. appears. 
right? That's how it works. So they are saying that they keep saying it's flu-like symptoms, but there are persons out there who are having diarrhea, right? There are some persons who don't right. really present with this eye fever that they are looking for. Some people just feel like they're right. going to drop down. It's not everybody have, a, have this respiratory part to it. You know, some persons, okay. it's just like they have a mild cold. So there are so many different ways that people are presenting with symptoms that it's no cut and dry thing to say, I have to come in with this sort of a thing for you to know that you should test me and, and I have corona or COVID-19. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. So. Because, you know, that's interesting. So um, some research, like, some persons are even saying, Dan, Dan, that persons can pass it on in the incubation period. So the times that you're not showing any sign, signs or symptoms, you can pass it on. Because, did, because my know Dan, Dan says sneezing and them something they happen without anything, without you having a cold yet or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. You just something go across your nostrils and kind of irritate it and you sneeze. Boom. Mm. So, 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 um, the the medical authorities in Jamaica do they actually have all all the prerequisites to um to accurately test and confirm? Uh, repeat, um, repeat that. Yeah, you were kind of breaking up. Repeat that. Huh? You believe that? Jamaica. Dan, Dan, you wanna hang up and call us back? Let us go for a break. No, because, because I'm asking, asking then, because hang up, hang up, no, um, hang up and call us back, Dandan. Dan. All right? Yeah. Hang up and call us back. Probably we'll get a better connection, and we're going to a break. Yeah, all right. We're going to break. All right, cool. So the time is now 10 p.m., and it's brought to you by VJ Printing Services, located right here at... For Brumbuck Avenue. Yes, man. Portland, and Real Turner, Talk Portland. is also sponsored by Nestle. That's Native Entertainment Stage and Lighting Services. Also located here at... For Brumbuck Avenue, right here in Portland, All right, Turner, give Portland. us a few minutes. we we'll soon come back. Yeah. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Good day driver You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone You know so you can get a ticket for this sir Really officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know Do me a beg you, give me a blind huh? So if you need hardware supplies Why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland We stock a wide range of products At the best prices in town a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Uh -huh. Remember Styles FM on social media. 
View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Me just hear the people them who love the, 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 the fruity people them. Why? Yeah man, me really, really can't stand the fruity people them. The, the people them love thing. show off. Eh? Change my mind about the eh? watch party. Cause me not Android even... thing. Yeah, right, yeah, the the when it up, when it, people when it, enjoy it. Hey, sure. <laughs> the I iPhone. Hope, I hope I don't iPhone feel that way yeah, when I hold, hold one of them fruit phones. Hey, because you. you just hey. can't take the hey. hype. Hey. But it's, it's becoming a use to Android like so. Yeah. How long? 20 years? 5 hey. years? Hey, hey. hey. Shelly, let me <laughs> hey, give the man my phone a while. Hey, Shelly, what happened? And the man has said to me, say, I'm going to find this person, I'm going to find this man, because the man have an iPhone. It yeah, might, an iPhone with a fruity phone. phone. <laughs> 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 you say, man, you say, don't remember. You don't remember. Yeah. All right, so we were talking yeah. about, welcome back to Real Talk, listeners. We were talking about this COVID-19, a.k.a. Yeah. coronavirus, right? Yeah. Um, and we were talking about Oh, the economy is going to fail, right? Something happened. I went it announced Tuesday. I went it announced the first case, yeah. first case, right? Yeah. And by the time they say one was confirmed, and by, by the time I was supposed to leave work and reach up town, everybody was going to mm. <laughs> iPhone and another Samsung boy. <laughs> Before by the time I could get. Finish work and, and go up in the town. Me say everybody I wear masks and have on gloves. Where? Up in a port and town. Port and town. I left Bombrook and heading into the town and oh, persons yes, are wearing masks and mm. gloves. All right. Beside that point, proceed. Mm. Wednesday. I said Wednesday. There were Wednesday. You couldn't get any. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello. 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 Welcome to Real Talk. Hello. Right, you, you. You want hello? All right. Try call us back. Persons actually. Yeah. Styles FM. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Come here again, man. Donald. Oh, one second, Donald. Just hold the line couple about about 20 seconds persons mm -hmm. went into the hardware mm -hmm. supermarket pharmacies everywhere that you can think of yeah. and they picked up the gloves the mask the the hand sanitizer the all the, the products that you can think of to sanitize bleach everything them scrape them up in a box and, uh, and you know what them do yeah and now uh, five italian paper no them go up on the street side go sell them so, yes, Daniel. Let, let us hear you. All right. Coronavirus. Yes. You see, all the people not believe in the conspiracy theory, you know. Yeah. That but, is true. But I will tell you, Dean Coons did write a book. I'm lying to you. Donald. Donald, did you, did you, I've been trying to get a copy of that book. Have you seen a copy you of know, that book, Fraser? Yeah, man, I read it. And I'm going to see if I can dig in my archives and find it. See, it. see if you find the book for me. I'll come get it yeah, from man. you. There's another book called End of Days. You, you read that one too? No, I never read that one. Never. Okay. I get a, I get a, a little um, messenger notice from the end of day. But the oh. Dean Coons one, we read that. Because I know we read mysteries from long time. Yes, the, yes, the, yes. All yes. of them things. But yeah. you see, we, people like me, who lie in love the conspiracy theory. Yeah. Right? No, 
them call it back in the in them days and them call it the Wuhan 400. Yeah, we saw yeah, that thing there going around. Right. And that basically is what is happening now. Them just rename it Coke or whatever, coronavirus or whatever. Yeah. Right? But it has been germ warfare that has been fighting. When you look at when you look at it, it, it HIV, when you look at MERS, when you look at SARS, when you look at um, Ebola, when you look at all of them things. Yeah. These superpowers have in their arsenal a lot of stuff to strike the world you know, at any given time. You know. Remember, you know, in a food security, Henry Kissinger 1972 mm-hmm. wrote a memo and sent it to the CIA and to other people describing how you know, create a problem with food security. Uh, and the food security, right? And one of the things where they looked at with food security was how to destroy Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean, South and Central America by using food. You understand what I'm saying? So when you look at all that has been happening in the world, coronavirus hit us at the right time, the time that they wanted it to be done. Okay. This thing is shutting down the world. And what I mean shut down, the stock market's going to take a big hit. The, the, all the people who will be and make money in this. Just yesterday, yes, 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 the reporter come out from Bayer. No. As a I, pharmaceutical company. No, I, I know Bayer. I didn't see it. Their profit has tripled or for four times mm-hmm. in the past four months than any other company in other words. You understand? Because here's what is happening. Yeah. These rich boys want to shut down the world where only a few of them make money. Now here's the other part of this thing. And it is coming up in the Bible now. I'm going to really read the entire Bible you know, because I think it was a clear Bible. And I think it was, it was written. It was rewritten by King James for controlling territory, right? So it's a whole heap of things they put in it. But at the end of that Bible, which is Revelation, John saw all of this that was going to be happening. And John saw all of this in the last days. Yeah. And John saw all of this bringing in the sick, sick, sick. You understand? Yeah. So when, when, corona, when coronavirus comes to the end, he shut up the world for them to implement the six, six, six. Oh. You understand? For no. the entire world. And mm-hmm. now you go back and read the Casa de Tutti, the Tutti, the house within the house. Read them things there. Get them book there and read them. Because not for them book there are really fiction, you know. They come in like Hollywood. In Hollywood, I show you true scandal and to the president's men, and to the president's choice, some of the things that happen in America, you know. You understand? Yeah. yeah. I will show you the things in a movie, and we think of fiction, and not fiction. Well... And, and the actual thing will happen. So if Dean Coons could have get an aspect of this from 1981, you can imagine the aspect of what happened with coronavirus. Huh? And I, it's not a lot of people going to die, you know. Now, like, no matter think the 4,000 when them tell you dead, man. We got three quarters of that China kill out them people. You understand? Yeah. But a lot of people going to die, but not that much. Yeah. But what is going to happen is that the world is going to shut down, shut down, and yeah. revitalize itself again. And that them what to do. Every single country ban public gatherings. Um, Donald, we have somebody on the live saying that you're referring to the three percent of persons who control the wealth, and um, yeah. the yeah. baby, the baby boomers are are the ones that. Yeah, but you know, the people where people don't know after now, two percent out of that are black people. You yeah. can't get involved with that, with that again because you see the cats are the two to the two to the house to the house. Yeah. They, the five people, when I'm sure, that are around the world, 
Mm -hmm. But control the world. Yeah. The five people, three of them black and two white. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once you educate yourself, you know who would like to hear Carleen and talk about this thing, yeah? That's yeah. the Iron Man Black. Because you oh. understand it more than anything else. Yeah, in gonna call in a few minutes. Can right. you listen to this so program all the time? I'm on, if I'm on a listen, me, I'm inviting him to call us. You know, listen. We, I can tell you, I can sit and tell you what coronavirus come for you. And that's why I mean, I'm scared of it. Because it, it boils down to one thing, you know, clear and prestige, you know. Shelly. Shelly. Yeah, Shelly. But, but Donald. Cleanliness yeah. at this point won't matter because when you see some of the stories, even one doctor was telling what was going on in Italy mm. and she was saying that they wear their asthma suits well suited up and they had their um, personal protective gears and their staff members were catching it. Right, because I tell you something, you know, they are telling people that it's not airborne, you know. And they are telling people that it is not airborne. So if it is not airborne, how can you talk into somebody's face? All right. And the person catch it. But Let, it must have to come out in the air. Right. So, so, so yeah. how can you cough? Um, how can you I explained that to somebody the other day because there is something about something traveling by air yeah. and get yeah. to you, all I know, and then that's what they call droplet. But I'm telling mm. somebody that when you sneeze and cough, it comes out in droplet, but that mm. droplet is carried feet away from you, yes, by the air. Yeah. Right? So, when you all want to look, then scientists they can talk all over the matter, you know. Because one thing we in our Jamaica are yeah, we're very firm. I like a Jamaican you know, but, very first my clock at this. No, no. Yeah. All right, put it this way. The thing about it, for my opinion, now let me state this is my opinion. When when the doctor in Wuhan actually caught that something was going on and he tried to speak about it. He was made to apologize, and a lot of things that should have happened didn't happen. And because of that, the virus got to a place now where it's a pandemic. All right? Lots of different persons, like the virus is actually mutating so fast that the symptoms that were presented, there are persons in, in China who caught the first wave of the virus, who is now catching the, the second wave. And the second wave of the virus is totally different from the first one you because it, you it has mutated. Huh? Shelly, you want me to tell you what next part of the conspiracy? This thing has never happened in a Wuhan, man. No matter what they tell It do what? It never happened in a Wuhan. Where this was made in Russia and sent to Canada. Wait, no, hear me now. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, listen. hear me now? No, I'm saying, right? Uh-huh. We want you... Like, if you have documentation on that or any video or something, can let me get it and let me go and run some research. All right? All right? Part of the conspiracy is that in elsewhere, what is it elsewhere? and brought to a different state and was stolen from that state to a different state and then the certain state will control the runnings of the world will control we don't want china to go nowhere in this world yeah. Africa, china and mama tell you <laughs> nothing can left china <laughs> nothing can left china china <laughs> just shut them because them come besides them, they want to be a world power too. And the power that be will not allow that to happen. You understand? Yes, we are yes. listening to you, Donald. For the conspiracy, man. Yes. Um, so somebody, I Donald. I believe yeah. in the conspiracy theory. Donald. You can't yeah. say that. I um, know that God meant this. And I've got to that. God now have nothing to do with this. Donald. Yeah. Calm down, man. <laughs> my, my passionate about it too, you know. All right, somebody's asking you to rip. Yeah, hear me? Yeah. Yeah, man. Now that's what I tell you, calm down, man. Come here, talk to you. It's what we can hear yourself one time. Somebody's right. asking you to repeat the name of the books. One of our listeners. It is Dean Cohn. Dean Cohn. And it's spelled K U. It's spelled K O O N Z, I think. K O O N T. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Right? And, so, yes. And then there's another one called the end of days. I bet she... Oh, what's your name again? Bet she's up on the road. Look here. Oh. Um, listener from Calgary, once you type in, you will see it come up because that it has been circulating. It has gone viral. That Dean Coon's book went yeah, viral. Dean Coon wrote that book from 1981. Yeah, man. So that's not hard to find. All right, Donald. Yeah. Thank you so much. Show sure just start. Go and listen because me know you're going to call yeah, back again before it's done. Man. Pick up, pick All right. Up. Yeah, man. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Man. yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah, man. All right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I want to show you to my virgin, TG. Big up yourself every time, Mr. Gray. Hello. Who am I talking yeah. to? Over there. Hello, where is Styles? Hello. Mm-hmm. Good night. Styles? Mm-hmm. Yes, Good night. this is Styles FM. Welcome to Real Talk. Yes, yes. Hello, hello. I'm calling from the States, man. You guys are breaking up a little bit here, but hold on. Let me see what I can do to fix it. I am hearing hold you on. clearly. Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, 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 I can hear you, I can hear you. I uh, found you on Facebook. What are you guys up to? Uh, what is the topic? We're talking, right now we're talking a little bit about the coronavirus. Yeah, man, it's really, really choppy, man. I can't really, really hear all you right. guys, but just all right. to let you know. All right, we have to try, yeah, try yeah, to yeah. retry the connection, all right? Okay, let me hang up and try and call again. All right. Again. Okay. Talk. All right, bye. All right, yeah, man, thanks. <laughs> so I was soon, we, um, we'll soon talk to you on our, soon talk to you on our WhatsApp, all right? Um, so I was talking about the persons who, they went and they bought these items, um, these sanitation items, right? And, uh, oh, <laughs> Good night, shop boss. And they bought them in bulk. So you, get, you could get a can of Lysol mm-hmm. for like $2,500. Yeah. Right? A, a, a bleach, probably about 200 mils or less. Do you know that bleach bottle? The yes. littlest one? Mm-hmm. That was being sold for $500. Yeah. I think somebody said they got a bottle of um, bleach. Not bleach. Um, alcohol. Same size, like. Mm-hmm. The normal alcohol we buy, five hundred dollars, and uh, and sanitizers. You could get you could get for one hundred dollars. Yes, you know yeah. chubby bottle, mm. little bottles of that of hand sanitizer for five hundred dollars. Mm. So persons bought these things. There was no alcohol. There was no peroxide. There was no bleach. People brought them in bulk. You know what my thing is? We are not our brother's keepers, and it's actions like these that's gonna make that virus spread, because. At this point, we are not thinking that, hey, our mother might want something to buy. We have our cousin around the corner there, so our auntie, uncle, people who are related to us, who may have been into those places to buy some of those products to protect themselves. And well, yes, it's all about money making. None. It was all about money, money making. making and hustling. Hustling and money Because making. there were persons with boxes of gloves pushing and walking around on mm. the street, asking your gloves to buy how much a pair. Yes. How much one pair of gloves? Mm-hmm. A mass people buying it. Look here in a prestige. A long time I've not seen nothing anger me so. So um, the Dean Coons book, The Eyes making. of Darkness. Yeah. If you want, you can let us know if you want to see. If it, well, a lot of people get it already, but if you haven't, we can send it to you via WhatsApp. Just shoot us a message and we we'll let you see the, the two books. Mm. Um, I've been trying to find it and can't. Oh dear. Right. And that's Way the part that thing ang- come out. angered me. Yeah, man, the book has been out there for a long time. Mm. To see that we went and we scrape up everything out, out of the, the, the supermarket and wherever they mm. sell mm. and selling back our brother, brothers and sisters to persons who, about who can afford it. Their families don't need mm. protection too. Mm. Mm. So, we, so we start do the thing and look for the thing. Mm. So you have people who, mm. my other part of it is you have people who came on the flights. Yes. Right? And government affair try to dig them out of some hole like when there's no crab. You know, when there's no crab season and people mm-hmm. look crab, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's how you, they're trying to dig them out. If you travel upon the flight and government asking you to show up, just come man, show yourself and, and go get tested so that because there are people around you who you claim say you love. So that mean you should be concerned enough to go take yourself. Just get tested. Tested? How oh, do they get tested? It, the, 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 do they have... That's another part we yeah. were going to talk about. Yeah. Now, 
tested. Something Do happened. they have? Let me explain something happened yeah. to you. Two persons I know were exposed to somebody coughing, mm -hmm. right? When they went to the health center to talk to somebody, the doctor there was, a, a doctor there was telling them that, oh, the person who was diagnosed with it, who was not diagnosed, who was confirmed positive with it, is in Kingston. Yeah. So therefore, they're not going to. And for me, I don't say you deal with the thing. Because you don't tell me, say, the person who, um, the, the person that Kingston, so here what happened, if you is having symptoms of whatever, don't matter come to me because at Kingston, the case there. Mm. No, the approach we are tech. Yeah. All right. I looked at it and I was saying, well, I went and I did some research and yes, the government, um, they said that there's allotted some money. So they are trying to get some ventilators and some other things yeah. to put in place for when, mm. if, if persons, so each hospital is supposed to mm. identify a ward that will be used for isolation if it gets to your particular parish. Mm -hmm. Hear my deal with that. I mean, you're always talk, you're, talking about, you're talking about like a, um, just a level? Just a, one a, ward. One yeah. ward. So if you go to Port Antonio Hospital, there's yeah. a ward that will be identified for persons who are um, not Port Antonio. Positive. Not Port Antonio Hospital. Yes. Talk, when we're talking about hospital, we, we have to talk about like KPH and stuff like that, where you know, levels. No, Port man. Antonio ward? no, no, no. Port What's, Antonio? Me can read and understand. Yeah. And it says that they are identifying. So there's a, there's a isolation room up by the hospital, but you can only hold one person, I think. Come right? on now, Shelly, so man. What, that, saying, what I'm saying no? to you, that's the reason why I'm saying this mm -hmm. to you. That's the reason why I'm saying this to you right now, right? When you talk about isolate one person, what one person? That's why I tell us that they are identifying wards. No. So each hospital should identify a ward because there are some hospitals that only can hold two persons in a ward. So how much it's... ward put into the hospital? Have, which uh, right here in a port? In a port and two, right here. Four, six, oh, two, four, six. I, mm -hmm. I think a six, if my mind says. Six. Right. But um, mm -hmm. preparations are being made to identify if it's even a ward at each hospital in a parish, or if you have more than one fine, where they will house isolation cases if they come up, right? Mm -hmm. The challenge, and we are hoping that if there's isolation to be done, there's not as much. Yeah, not even a ward. Right? It's going to be a challenge right? with, so, with, with, with the medical personnel. Well, put it this way. Um... I'm surprised yeah, that I'm surprised that well I don't know because there are things being done that the public is not aware of. Oh. So I don't know if they are calling out retired staff mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah. And then you do have the army. You mm -hmm. have health persons in the army who can come out to man these places. Mm -hmm. So if they need the army, the army will come out and deal with it. You know, so they are putting things it in place. So, it, it, it is so nice and the way you are saying right now, mm -hmm. right? But when this thing reach pan level, it's a different story. But one more, we're gonna do prestige. But I'm just saying, oh yeah, say to the people. Jamaica don't have money like China to go but, build hospitals. But we have to tell the people and just like how it is. So, so we have to work with what we have. I'm not telling people anything for them to go panic. I'm telling them uh, that government is putting things in place, hopefully to help. Because every every time when you hear me talk, when, when me say, say you have the one hospital in Portland right now, Portland the Hospital, covers. Everybody in Portland and in St. Thomas, East, Port, East, East St. Thomas near to, to the Portland border, from all the way back there, one hospital. And it's a small hospital. It's easier for we Same tell... Same thing with Princess Margaret Hospital. Yeah, but it's easier for we tell the people them how oh, oh, to go ahead by protecting ourselves and try to contain that thing upon the level more than we are telling about they put them to the hospital and we can the war at them and all them things there. If we tell the people themselves, listen up, wash your hand, do XYZ and XYZ because there is not gonna be so many spaces 
for all these things what we're but, talking but, about. But all right. Wash get, your hand. You know my deal. You get me, I say? Precise. Wash your hand. We're not supposed do to all these things. people for wash their hand and something they still, you know. I am surprised yeah. that the minister is even telling people to bathe twice a day. I'm saying like, we oh, you say yeah. I tell big people what to do. Those are common courtesies that we should know. You understand? This so, is, but 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 we don't know on. all these things that are ready for another every day. We have to tell them the same way. So just just to say to our listeners, um hey Facebook, in just a little ex, um excerpt from the, the Dean Coons book where it mm. says Mm. And I quote, in 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness would spread throughout mm. the globe, attacking mm. the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Mm. Almost more baffling than the illness itself will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived. Attack again 10 years later and then disappear completely. completely. So Dean Coons is saying that in 2030, right? That's 10 years. Yeah. In 2030, then you'll see something like the um, COVID-19 again. Mm -hmm. So Repeat again. Um, it's now 10.30. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services, located here at 4 Bonebrook Avenue in Port Antonio. Real Talk is also sponsored by Nestle. That's Native Entertainment Stage and Lighting Services, located right here, too, at 4 Bonebrook Avenue in Port Antonio, Portland. We're going for a couple minutes. We'll soon come back here. We'll soon come back. Mm -hmm. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Roger, you know what I just realized? How come fear shop always full? And you can barely count the amount of people who come in a me shop. Then you know see fear shop get international. A Styles FM she a mind our business with. Styles FM fit you? Yes. A time you mind your business. See him like how she a mind our business. And a sponsor one show up Styles FM. I say you fit mind your business. And take out one package and sponsor one of their show too. She a get ads. She a get mentions. Our business I get chat about. I want to you. Mind your business. Yes, that's right. You can sponsor a program on Styles FM. Starting as low as $4,000 per month. Condition apply contact us today at 876-993-3358 or 876-518-2399 styles fm get your business out there mind your funky business mind your funky business leave me alone when it's me leave me alone for the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining native audio we have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, so I just got a quote from a friend of mine. 
you know, a very dear friend, and it's saying to the people who have bought who have bought 27 bottles of soap, leaving none on the shop shelves for others, you do realize that to stop coronavirus, you need other people to wash their hands too. No, we just feel safe with gluttonous and creep everything. Yeah. Then that's all right, you know? And it's really, really not. So I was saying to Prestige just now, <laughs> <laughs> we can't even tell you no what happened to Prestige a while ago. I just leave that for half the year. You know what I say? Yeah, so um we said the other the other book name. Let me see it and I can't tell it. Tell the person's name to mine. So we're gonna Sylvia Brown. Sylvia Brown, um with a E at the end. The book the name of the book is End of Days prediction and prophecies about the end of the world right so persons can prob actually go grab that so in the end of it there's only one little jamaica and with the, <laughs> with the little jamaica with so, i'm sorry with the little jamaica i'm sorry prestige all right i i told you i said taste right me never say turn your head you know me I say? Me say tears, me never say turn your head. So I must apologize because you did think say a juice. <laughs> so um with the little that we have, um, I think the government is trying the best way they can. If they had for me, if they had actually taken our health sector seriously and upgrade our hospitals and outfit them with proper um beds and and um what i would say equipment for staff to use then you know that they wouldn't have been have to be running around that hour because at least they would have had the base um to work with no it's like they have to be starting from scratch um so since i was saying good night family long time when chat, i strongly believe that they don't know where the virus has started or how it is transmitted I strongly believe that it's also airborne because touching alone cannot spread it worldwide so fast. Just like Donald, I do believe that it was meant for world power, but it's got out of control and get world spread. Well, probably Dean Coons was onto something back in there. Hey, Fitzroy, welcome to Real Talk. It's been a while, brother. For real, since we have spoken. I want to big up everybody on the text line, on the WhatsApp line. Let me run through some of the messages. Eh? We can fast before we go into our Vox Pop. Yeah. Hey, Wilton, Shelly, and Prestige, you can definitely agree with Donald with the conspiracy. It's not so much a virus. Can I do the is a vaccination not coming? Up? Oh, I definitely would like to have his number, Donald's phone number. Um, Shelly and Prestige, you can look this up later when you have some time. Okay, um, we'll do, we'll turn. I'll ask Donald permission. Donald, one of our listeners want to link up with you to have further dialogue. Uh, uh, Kemoy from Sunny Hill. Yes, I saw that video too, and I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> yeah, man, I know you're here to keep our company, Kemoy. Sure. Um... See, no, no, uh, they have been on or oh, they have oh all right give me permission to let the person have your number donald or not right okay he says yes so can I share share the yeah man when we finish read them there yeah. uh dp let me see what dp is saying oh yes yeah, so oh um he's actually sharing the the book and uh, a part of the a passage yeah. from the book. Cassie, lucky in DP. You know? um, <laughs> yeah, in the M nineteen, you know. Oh yes, and I just yeah. read that. Yeah. yeah, man. Everybody thinks if they buy up everything, and them alone must benefit from it. Mm. Mm. Ah, but I do up? tell you. DP circle some things about. Um, so by yeah. twenty twenty, um, just a paragraph from Miss mm. Brown book. 
She's saying that by 2020, we see more people than ever wearing surgical masks and rubber gloves in public, inspired by an outbreak of a severe pneumonia-like illness that attacks both the lungs and the bronchial tubes and is ruthlessly resistant to treatment. This illness will be particularly baffling in that after causing a winter of absolute panic, it will seem to vanish completely until... But, uh, yeah, but, but we so, may say silly. I think she took that from yeah. Dean Coons because yeah. she made an asterisk or something yeah, but, there. So but I think she's say, quoting. Yeah, yeah, but may I say silly. From when the book came out. Hey, Kadian, I need to link you. Yeah. Um, when the book came out. Madhu, I need to link you. All right. Let hmm? me. I think some persons were below that. Uh, did that make something? In, in Shelly? Hmm? Mr. Ask. When this book... Dean Coons, I think, was 1981. I don't remember Whoa. when Earth Whoa. was written. But yeah. Dean Coons' book was... Yeah. yeah, man, was decades ago. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wow. that's, that's been a while. Mm. Um, Rasta from Calgary. Hey, what's up? Nova okay, from Illinois. See, oh, listen, How are you yeah. doing? Wait, Good run, night. Honey. Wait, I run. Let me see. Who oh, listen? Uh... <coughs> Uh, um, yeah, man. Oh, I don't know like how you're not coming up. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. Like that. Big up to everybody that's on our Facebook live mm. watching. Mm. Uh, so yeah. Prestige. How we are going for it? Now, yeah, man, track, yeah? A this track, um, yeah. engineer man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lisa yeah. out of Atlanta. Yes, yeah. Andrea. Andrea. Your team go. Andrea so, so we made a shape way up good. So mm. <laughs> yeah. Kevin from out of Tampa. You are the woman we call heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Rakla, anywhere your steps sink. Are those actually? Are those um? What do you call it? Compliments, Kevin. Mm. Okay, boss, love you more. I'll when my eyes them are locked down, me in and out of sleep with styles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, Vanessa, Marvin, where you going? Marvin, Damien, Charmaine. Oh. oh. <laughs> Chungi. You know what I mean? I like Chungi. Chungi? <laughs> How are you from Chungi? Chungi fall asleep early, Chung. man. Ain't gonna be there early, man. I fall early, like. Yeah. Me yeah. know, but you can't sure, get, can get up to some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Miss Ming. Good night. Twelve years to you. ago, mm. um, that's old. Miss Brown book was written twelve years ago. Cause me know, say nineteen eighty something. Um, Dean Coons one, right? Miss Bruce's good night to you, Angela. Bruce it. Oh, mm. I think I'll... Mm. <laughs> you think I will... No, yeah. but that's my daughter's last name. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, oh, 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 okay, 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 so, okay. I think I want a relative. Oh. Yeah, yeah. so, um, the most I can say to our brothers and sisters out there, mm -hmm. we should be our brother's keeper, mm -hmm. and uh, no amount of selfishness is, is not going to help any of us at this time. Mm -hmm. Please practice hygiene. We were taught as children to cover our mouths when we cough and sneeze to wash our hands, and all of those things were taught to us from we were small. Some of we just, I don't know how it, it got out of our head, but those are the things that you should practice. I say, if you can walk somewhere, then walk somewhere, right? Instead of going in the public's domain. Styles FM, good night. Good night, ma'am. Um, tonight to Prestige, tell him Shadi, Georgie from the Center Master. Okay. Mm -hmm. I well, I'm listening to your program and I hear you were talking a little earlier on about the the hospital space that they said they're going to provide for this virus thing. Yes. So I I, I figured that I would call and let you know because it sounds like you weren't aware of that press conference that was held this evening for almost two hours. This evening, you said. Yes, and they relate so many things pertaining to the virus and the plans and intentions that the, the authorities have to deal with it. The mm -hmm. Prime Minister was there, the Minister of Health, the, the Mr. Vaz. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it was an um, outstretched press conference this evening. Okay. 
Yeah, and I was I was concerned because I, I said, wonder how many people listening to that conference so that they can be informed. So I don't know how you people could have get a touch of what actually took place. It might have been recorded. I don't I can't suggest how. But there was a lot of information passed on there in that press press conference this evening. Okay? So aren't you going to share some of what you remember with us? Yeah? Aren't you going to share some of what you remember with us? Yes, um, like, for instance, um, the, the, the area in Bulbay, there, where they said the first coronavirus, mm-hmm. In, mm-hmm. It, it, it is now under um, curfew. And, and, and they said they have at least 30 people that they get in touch with who they have in... Um, okay, you know, sharp boss trying to check out if them are right or if them have it. Okay. And that here has been shut down um, to restrict movement. Okay. By both by the military and the police and the health people. Okay. They also state that they I they're trying to find a ward in all hospitals to um, donate or uh, to put to the just the coronavirus. They talk about water and um, the problem they're having with water and they're trying to start out, put something in place that they can let more people really have the water. And and, and um, we talk about just a few more things. Well, um, most of what you're saying was I actually I read a lot of that and I was telling Prestige just now practically the same thing like you know uh-huh. they do have quarantine centers set up but in terms of isolation and the minister was actually because I watch a live um, town hall it was done at one of the the networks headquarters in Kingston and they were discussing um, some of those same things that you're talking about now establishing um, what you call isolation areas in each uh-huh. hospital because they they have, I think they say what 12, remember the quote of money that they actually budgeted for it so they have ordered beds, ventilators um, and protective um, gears and um, some more things to, to to set up these these places so yeah, that's that's seven billion. Yeah, I think at twelve. Me remember, I don't remember the exact figure. Yeah, so. that the fi- finance minister mentioned. Mm-hmm. He he was asked about it, and him say um he would have to go back to parliament to 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 release that fund. But I saw it in a document, and it was an official document that I saw it on. So I don't know about that. Yeah, man. Um, I I, th- I think I even reshared it on my Facebook page. Listen to one of the the, the speech. He, he said that they would have to go back to Parliament to mm-hmm. release that fund. And remember that seven billion would have been separate from two billion that was already um, donated, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but so, um, yeah. What I would say, what I would say is that they are trying them best to keep we informed. But then again, we some people just know. But put it them. yes, Carla, and that's the thing I was going to say that honestly. I am not I'm not refuting. I am actually proud of the steps that they are taking on one hand. You understand? Yeah. But it's yeah. up to us as the citizens of Jamaica. We live here. Right? So it's up to us to do our part. Our thing is that we just sit down and we want to lay down or yeah. sit back in our easy chair and say government must. Yeah. As if we and don't then. live here. We are I think most Jamaicans are not patriot patriotic enough unless it comes on when we win something in sport or something when somebody's glowing for in jamaica we make up with chess and say we come from jamaica but when it comes to protecting yeah our own and coming together as one to, for things to forge ahead in a positive way we are not so you know we are, we are quite re- reluctant to jump on board with it yes because that news of the theft the card even the minister of health Mm-hmm. He said, he said, and the, the, um, the, the, at the conference this evening, he, he admitted that they found what, 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 25 boxes. I think the figure was 25. Yeah, man. 
that that people stole and why, why them thieves them something at this time it's one of the first thing i spoke about when we came on it's like they stole gloves yeah. and mask from the kph hospital yes it is so terrible so thank you for listening to me here and yeah, you're yeah, welcome we, we appreciate your input yeah man i do what most people more people will pay attention where are you calling from I'm calling from um, a district, your, your work sister district there, uh, Whitehall. In oh, okay. Appreciate the call. Thank you so much. Okay, and thank you very much. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. We just going to make him go away with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We figure as much. So it's it's um so Rasta in Calgary. Um. Iron tablet supplement is one of the most important mineral for the black body. Please get enough iron, fight the disease or put. All right, let me put it this way because you see when, when I go online to look for information, I don't just take information from any or any place. You understand? It has to come from a the, the wherever I get the information has to be a reliable source. Yeah. And one second there, Donald, and they're saying that the disease is not presenting any one kind of way yeah. right it, it's presenting in different people and it depends on your age it depends on how healthy you are or your immune system operates that determines sometimes the signs and symptoms of, of your, that you have so this thing that we have this black and white thing that we say oh these are the symptoms not necessarily right hey dana what are you saying Listen, we are talking about government now and we are talking about hospitals and we're talking about where they're put in for hospital. Yeah. Right. We could touch one little area, water. Mm -hmm. Right? Portland. I'm not really going to talk about no other parish. But Portland is the hotbed, the hub for water. Apart from Trillan, we have the Catholic country, the straight guy. Mm -hmm. Portland is the hotbed for water. Rain fall like every day. See? Government has turned their back. On Portland, where water is concerned. You remember when we were on a farmer bar, you used to have a reservoir. Paradell used to have a reservoir. Clear Spring used to have a reservoir. Um, up on uh, Chateauva used to have a reservoir. Up on uh, um, Springbank Hilltop, we up at the top, so used to have a reservoir. So Government shut down all of them there. You understand? I'm just make Baridel alone a function. Now, if you want to keep people safe, and you want in a port, Donald, yeah. yeah, bring back the water system to Portland because water is one of the things that will keep you safe from the coronavirus. One, Donald, who owns yeah. who owns the <laughs> water company? Because I'm not really gonna call them name. All right, who owns the company? Is it government owned? The, the company was owned by government, and so, I think them divested. So when so, they, when they were shut down, did they were they shut down under the government? When them shut or? down, all of them shut that government after. Okay, okay. When them shut down, all of them think that government after. Okay. Then okay. now, if you want to bring back water, I see tomorrow night they might have a big. Men. I want them to go on. No. no. All all um public gatherings yes, are cancelled. No uh, license. All public gatherings are cancelled. Yes, I know. Yes. 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 Government did have spent millions with East East Portland. When East Portland are now out. So let me tell you something, man. Government need to start the attention to the people. Donald, 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 no, yeah. hear me now. The people yeah. need to start pay attention to themselves. So we can't want, agree with that. The people want to buy more black, more black tank and put up on their own. No, the people must pay attention for, um, because people hold the power. No matter where we want things, say, how we hold the power. And the minute we relinquish the power that we have, and this is the same thing that happened now where everybody are going to the place, they might buy up the things, they might sell them back to their own brother and sister. This is the reason why these things happen. And then who we are going to blame? Government. Which country in the world people have government? Just tell me which one. Every country now say they have their own yeah, government. Man. 
Yes, I um, Donald Trump in the office because of 365 million people. I know, I know him alone. He, he's just the chief. He's college. just the chief. He's just the commander in chief. Electoral college put him in office. People know. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, Donald. Donald. Understand. Donald. People don't vote in government, man. Who says so? Which part? No, 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 no. What do you mean? Let me tell you this, man. You ever hear about my election? B U Y election. Eh? All right, let us I'm go back. Donald. All right, man. hear me now. May you not go agree on that. So we're going to go back to the point where we're talking about <laughs> what is being put in place for us. They because put in place now. it's, well, it's not. This right now. Huh? Port Antonio Hospital. Mm -hmm. have one male ward for surgical and one for ordinary. One male female ward for the same surgical and one for. Up now, right? Mm -hmm. With premium, I got four. Then mm -hmm. the children was make five, mm -hmm. and then the maternity ward mm -hmm. make six. Which part up there are for quarantine area? They say every hospital should identify a ward should. or an Which area. No, it has to be done. Antonio. Probably them can use the other building that they May use ask, for. Already, you know. I'm going to say before. Building. The other building that they use for outpatient um, yeah. purposes and the pharmacy, they probably that, can't that's use what down I, there, so. That's what I asked you before. Right? So, how many people? No. All right. Yes. Yes. Can Donald, 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 Donald and Pressy, yes. no, listen now. Wait now. Yeah. Hear me now. Because I am not going to face this from one, because we yeah. know that if push... Come to shove, what? Okay, yeah. So push come to shove. Hold on. Hold on now. I am not saying that what they are doing is going to work in its entirety. Yeah. For me... Is a start because uh, yeah, I was yeah. happy. Donald, the problem, you know? Vietnam man, I was happy when me here said them are a bed and ventilate and them something because every day me come as styles and then something me ask me use yeah. my social media page and me ask the same question. We are we are going to need ventilators because we have three major hospitals in yeah. Jamaica with ICU units and them can barely manage what they are. Me say barely can barely because the people die. Yeah. Waiting for an ICU bed. Yeah. Two right? persons per ventilator. So I know that you they cannot. It? What are you talking about? May I ask if a two or three person per ventilator? What are you talking ask? about? You're not listening yeah. to what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, Listen. Shelly. Yes. Daniel, talk to what I'm talking to about. Yeah. So I'm not listening. I've been fighting for a dialysis yeah. treatment center for COVID. Long time. For Portland. Long time. Yeah. And we still have an fight. The government is saying. That the Port Antonio Hospital government will not fund it. You understand? Yeah. Because the Port Antonio Hospital is not a type A or a type B hospital. And tell about the company we have, or the organization. Yeah, I'm, I'm, let me say something to you again. Yeah. There is a property in front of the outpatient that used to house doctor's quarters. I used to live in there. It is Because your wife a doctor. Now. And nobody is trying to see if they can use that section to build another part of that hospital. Government is not doing anything that will appease the people. Government so, is fattening them pockets. So they don't care about the lives of Jamaican but, people. But when I'm election come, who vote? But when I'm election come, who vote? When election comes, who vote? Let me tell you something, you Donald. Hold on. Difference. Hold on. Because enough people me know have yeah. money. Have money. A lot of times we sit down and wait for government to do everything. People can spend their money at one more dialysis center. Who can pay, so pay for it? What? Right? Man right? No. Man in Portland, you Listen. Spend some money. I'm Listen. saying. No, no. Look here. I want to get me, you know. Me tell you know something about me. You see me? I'm a person who a solution me love. Right? Daniel. And if we sit down, how much years now we now wait for the dialysis center there? Yeah. And there are people with money that can fund it That's and true. charge. They can fund it and charge because me used to carry patient go to dialysis. Yeah. Enough patient me know I wait for go to dialysis, died yeah. waiting, and I've yeah. never been on that long list. Yeah. Enough time dialysis machine them broke down. 
Yeah. Yeah. Not work. Right? The because they are Jamaica. over, because they are pressured. So, Donald. More people Donald. dying from Wait. dialysis, lack of dialysis treatment. All right, hear me now. All right, Donald, you. hear me now. I want nurse I talk to. But I'm not going to stray too far from the point. What I'm going to say, I may mean, say it for you last time, too many times we sit and fold our hands. And it's the same selfishness of us human kinds. Human kinds, I say mankind, are human. it's our own selfishness that has held us captive and will continue to hold us captive. And we will continue to treat other, each other this way and we'll die from treating other this way. The same way, and you know, or we treat each with other. 100%. That is what Here's is what happening because Missy people are by property of Portland, building, building, um, what you call them, plazas and something mm -hmm. where the same people of Portland can't afford to rent them mm -hmm. because they're expensive. Them same money they could have made those dialysis centers and radiology centers and something so that when one man really sick him now to drive how much in mile go down have two more him have to cross about three border before him can get to a machine to do the particular investigation that he needs so the, the power line of the people them hand the people them who have the money i mean nobody tell me send no money in their year right not money that important all right so that is what Holy i have money. to say we are go back to with corona um it's now 11 p.m and the time is brought to you by vj okay, printing right, right. services yeah. hang up for me now dial we go, um da, donald we're going to a break when we come back we'll continue the conversation we all right good night to my facebook to people Rolando. it's we now 11 p.m uh, remember that Real Talk is also sponsored by Nestle, that's Native Entertainment Stage and Lighting Services. When we come back, we're going to play a little clip for you, and we want for you to listen intently. We're going to a break. We soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893 Here's your Prince just touched down in the airport. A royal date to everyone. It's showing you with the voice of DJ Prince, your royalty of music selection, represented for my show, your show, Detour, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight with mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm -hmm. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Get your Saturday morning started the right way. It's all about the jumpstart with Chungi, the Chinaman on your radio. From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., it's all about fights from the start to the finish. We're boring a go that get diminished. So whether you're home, on the road, on a bus, or drive taxi then, come listen to Jumpstart on Styles FM. We cover the globe like oxygen. Ace it, ace it. Jumpstart Saturdays, 6 to 9 a.m. That's at the time. Anything else me leave out? Cho, never mind. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to Real Talk. I thank you, everybody that logged on, everybody that's participating, everybody that's still here with us. We are absolutely appreciative. You that's understand? Really. Um, yes, Last Peter time. Mackenzie, there yeah. have been. Yeah. There have been. Yeah, there have been. Yeah. Um, I think one lady in Portmore got yeah. knocked out since, yeah. since this virus thing. So they're not afraid mm. of it. All right, so we're going to play the clip now. Mm. So we have a clip we're going to play for you. Please listen attentively, okay? I want to read a couple of things um, that were Twitter threads, and they are sweeping the world, and it gives you an idea of what it feels like and what we are facing. You know, I've been saying for the last few days, we're about 50 days behind China. And it's, it's not that it's getting worse around the world. China is now recovering and all going back to work. We are behind China. So now what are we going to face? I'm going to give you one of my, uh, one of my uh, researchers and writers went back, was listening to the show and went, well, let me look at that. Went back and put everything in a calendar from 50 days ago. And when you start looking at the headlines out of China from 50 days ago, we are exactly there. So we are about to go through this giant ramp up. Do not panic. But, but please do the things that you're supposed to do. We are supposed to wash our hands all the time. We're supposed to not touch our faces all the time. Um, uh, we are to uh, stay out of big crowds Isolate yourself if possible. Do those things. Please do those things. Because when I read what these doctors and nurses are talking about in Italy, you will understand why the government is now saying do these things. You'll understand why for the first time we are isolating ourselves. And it's not because we're all going to die. It's because no matter what system you have, nothing is prepared for this. Let me give you the first thread from a well-respected friend and an intensive care nurse uh, who is currently in northern Italy. Here's the thread. I feel the pressure to give you a quick personal update about what's happening in Italy and give you some direct advice about what you should do. First, I'm in the most developed region in Italy and it has extraordinarily good health care. I've worked in Italy the UK and Australia, and don't make a mistake to think what's happening is in a third world country. It's not. The current situation, again, from Italy, the current situation is difficult to imagine and the numbers don't explain things at all. Our hospitals are overwhelmed by COVID-19 and they are running at 200% capacity. We've stopped all routine, all ORs have been converted to ITUs. What's an ITU? You know, still look that up real quick. I think that is, you know, kind of an elected thing. They are now diverting or not treating all other emergencies like trauma, like strokes. There are hundreds of PTs with severe respiratory failure, and many of them don't have access to anything above a reservoir mask. Yeah, intensive treatment unit? Okay, so what they're doing now is they're not able to treat. You come into the hospital with a stroke, you might as well have stayed home and taken some aspirin because they can't treat you because everything is overwhelmed. Hospitals at 200% capacity. Patients above 65 or, um, or younger with comorbidities are now even assessed by uh, or are not even assessed by ITU. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying not tubed. I'm saying not assessed with no ITU staff to attend 
when they go into cardiac arrest. Staff working as hard as they can, but they are starting to get sick and emotionally overwhelmed. My friends call me in tears because they see people dying in front of them, and they can only offer them some oxygen. Ortho and pathologist are being given a leaflet and sent to see patients on NIV. Uh, please stop. Read this again and think. What's NIV, Stu? We also see the same pattern in different areas a week apart, and there is no reason that in a few weeks it won't be the same everywhere. This is the pattern. One, a few positive cases. First few mild measures, people are told to avoid uh, the emergency department, but still hang out in groups. Everyone says not to panic. Two, some moderate respiratory failures and a few severe ones that need to be intubated and tubed. But regular access to the emergency department is significantly reduced, so everything looks great. Three, tons of patients with moderate respiratory failure that over time deteriorate to saturate ICUs first, then NIVs, then CPAP hoods, then even just oxygen. Four, staff gets so sick that it gets difficult to cover for shifts. Mortality rate spikes from all other causes that can't be treated properly. Ten, everything about how to treat people is online, but the only thing that will make a difference are these. Don't be afraid of the massively restrictive measures to keep people stay safe. If governments won't do this, at least keep your family safe, your loved ones with a history of cancer or diabetes or any transplant will not be tubed, even if they are young. By safe, I mean do not attend them, and you decide who does and how to help them. Another typical attitude is to read and listen to people saying things like this and that. That's a bad dude. Then they go out to dinner because you think you'll be safe. We've seen it. You won't be. Take it seriously. It won't be as bad, hopefully, as it is here. But you must prepare. All right. N NIV, uh, non non-invasive ventilation. Okay. So um, this, I just got this morning, this this uh, thread from this nurse. This one is from a doctor, and I, I really want you to listen to what he's saying here. Um, because I want you to put yourself in the situation as it is in Italy. Italy is second only to China, but they think Italy is second only to China because of the age of the people that are there. One, I may be repeating myself, but I want to fight this sense of security that I see outside of the epicenters, as if nothing was going to happen here. The media in Europe are reassuring. Politicians are reassuring. But there is little to be reassured of. Now, this is a doctor who actually attached his name to this. The other guy did not attach his name to it. This guy has. This is the English trans, uh, uh, translation of an ICU physician in Italy. <sighs> After much thought about whether I should or what to write about what's happening to us, I felt silence was not responsible. I will therefore try to convey to people far from our reality what we are living in in Bergamo in these days of COVID-19 pandemic. I understand I need not to create panic, but when the message of the dangerousness of what is happening is not reaching people, I shudder. I watched myself with some amazement the reorganization of the entire hospital in the last seven days. When our current enemy was still in the shadow the wards slowly emptied. Elective activities elsewhere were interrupted. Intensive care freed up to create as many beds possible. All of this rapid transformation brought an atmosphere of silence and surreal emptiness to the corridors of my hospital that we did not yet understand. We just waited for a war that had yet to begin. And many, including me, were not so sure 
he would ever come with such ferocity. I still remember my night on call a week ago when I was waiting for the results of a swab. When I think about it, my anxiety over one possible case seems almost ridiculous and unjustified now that I've seen what's happening. Well, the situation is now dramatic, to say the least. Remember, that was his attitude seven days ago. The war has literally exploded and battles are uninterrupted day and night. But now that need for beds has arrived in all of its drama. One of the um, one after the other, the departments that have been emptied fill up at an impressive ca pace. The boards with the names of the patients or different colors depending on the operating unit are now all red. And instead of surgery, you see diagnosis, which is always the damn same. Bilateral uh, interstitial uh, pneumonia. Now, explain to me which flu virus causes such a rapid drama. And while there's still people who boast about not being afraid by ignoring directions, protesting because their normal routine is temporarily put in crisis, the epidemiology disaster is taking place, and there are no surgeons, urologists, orthopedists. We are all only doctors who suddenly have become part of a single team to face this tsunami that has now overwhelmed us. Cases are multiplying. We arrive at the rate of 15 to 20 admissions per day, all for the same reason. The results of the swab now come one after another, positive, positive, positive. And suddenly, our emergency rooms are collapsing. Reasons for the access, always the same. Fever and breathing difficulties, fever and cough, respiratory failure, radiology reports always the same. Bilateral uh, pneumonia, bilateral pneumonia, bilateral pneumonia. All need to be hospitalized. Someone already uh, waiting to be intubated and go to intensive care. For others, it's too late. Every ventilator has become like gold. Those in operating theaters have now suspended their non-urgent activity just to become intensive care uh, doctors in places where they did not exist before. The staff is exhausted. I see the tiredness on the faces that I didn't know what it was despite the fact that we were all working exhausting workloads. But I saw the solidarity of all of us who never failed to go to our internist colleagues and ask what can I do for you right now? Doctors who move beds and transfer patients. The administrator that it gives therapies instead of nurses. Nurses with tears in their eyes because they can't save everyone. And the vital parameters of the several patients at the same time. That all reveal an already marked destiny. There are no more shifts. There are no more hours. Social life is suspended for all of us. We no longer see our families for fear of infecting them. Some of us have already become infected, despite all of the safety protocols. That's from one of the leading doctors in one of the best areas of Italy. What's coming here may be the same. What's coming here... You must not panic. You must do what the CDC is telling us to do. Self-isolate if you can. Work from home if you can. Don't go out if you can. So welcome back to Real Talk, my people. You know, I hope that from listening to that clip there now, just now, you would have learned something, right? That clip is coming out of the person who he speaks about is a doctor and a nurse from Italy. And we know that Jamaica cannot compare to those places when it comes on to healthcare. And put it this way, our, our troubles have just begun. Right, Donald, 
um, yeah, you can't call me back now. We passed the break. Our troubles have just begun. And at some point, we are going to see a peak. And then as with everything else, it's going to flatten out. Just like all the other countries are going through it. You're going to hear how much persons are... Um, will be infected with it just as when other diseases came here SARS was here other diseases like that were here it's gonna have a peak and then it's gonna flatten out right one concern of mine is hey Wilton um okay all right thank you our elderly right from almost all the, but something we never did for Carl with Batman. I hear back from him. Carl with Batman, what's up there? But um, our elderly and the persons who has predisposed conditions, diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, persons with cancer and diseases like that. You have persons who have chronic um, cardiac diseases too. They have them heart problem going on. You have persons who has other respiratory illnesses that probably has occurred from smoking over a number of years. They already cannot breathe well. And those are the persons. If you are a healthy human being for right now, meaning you don't have any illness that you are dealing with right now, then very likely if you get the virus, you will recover from it. Right? But those persons, the elderly who are always vulnerable, persons who are already ill, when it gets to them, how are we going to deal with that? So my onus is on us to protect those that are ill already as much as we possibly can. Because right now the country is dealing with dengue fever. It hasn't gone anywhere. There are persons who haven't yet recovered from chikungunya. We can't tell you that for a fact. People who are still recovering from chikungunya, they don't want to catch this. And at the rate of everything is going, we don't know who, you know, we don't know who. Because it's hard to protect your loved ones. The most I can say is that if you have anybody at home who is not well, or they are, uh, they are, they are the senior citizens, they are elder, then the most I can say, if you have a room like to the back, then I would say, put them in a room, where when the family comes in, they don't have to face them, right? So you would take your, you would take your clothes off, your road clothes off, and go sanitize yourself before you enter your room. Because even though we're not going to hug up and, and, and kiss up people and shake hands and those things, remember, it's a virus, it's transferred on stuff, right? Things that you touch. It's transferred on there. So the most I think you can do is to isolate your loved ones from now. The older people and persons that are in your own soul that already have illnesses, protect them from now. So when you go home, ensure that you sanitize yourself before you even enter into their rooms. You're not going to lock them up like prisoners, you know. But if you know you're going home at 6 o'clock, call and say, Mama or Papa, or let somebody who's caring for them, let them know I'm on my way home. Please take them to the back of the house. I'm going to come home. I'm going to sanitize on them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. So you go be it and take off all of them clothes and everything that you come off the street with. Wash your hands before you touch a child, before you touch that person. Because they are persons. Initially, when I heard about this, I said, boy, I haven't done nursing in that capacity for a while. I said, boy, if me here said, them I call all nurses, me not think me I go go because I want to protect myself and my people, them too. But guess what happened? The minute I decided to become a nurse, it, it was mandatory. Like, me can't take it back because me can't give them back the certification. I said, oh, this, me don't want to be a nurse no more. It's impossible. It's a part of my civic duty to help my brothers and sisters if they need be. 
So I'm putting it out there. If push come to shove, my two hands are going to be of help to my brothers and sisters because me can't see people are so far walk away. It you know I mean? Right? So it's protection mode. We have to go into protection mode. Jamaicans have a way of... Let me tell you how we stay. We are not... We are reactive. You know, we don't, we not, we not fix nothing until it gets broken. Like, it, and it has to broke bad. So the glass has to drop a match and broke up in a pieces before we actually do anything about it. You know what I say? A we that. Let's be a proactive set of people. I'm buying up all the soap and the disinfectants, not going to help we, we alone and we family alone because everybody needs it. So when we take it from somebody else, that means another family is not protected and that means our family is not protected, right? Um, just a listen silently because somebody tested... My madness earlier this evening talking about COVID-19, making can't pay me my money. Look here, you know. Well, because people go, they went and they buy stuff that they don't even need because people panic. So they actually panic buy. No semi dig up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look here. So find it fast. Look here, you know. Be of yourself. Um, let me go to some of the messages. Hey, to my people on our Facebook Live. How are you doing out there? Um, all right. Hey, Normisha. What's up in Manchinil? Uh, all right. We'll share. We'll turn. We will definitely share. Let me... All right. Let me read it. Let me see what he's saying. Uh, Wilton is inviting persons to actually... Um, what PPS do you read at? Foreign Relations, 1948, Hi, Volume 1. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk and Styles FM. How are you doing? I'm okay so far. What's your take on this virus? Uh, my take on it is that um, um, I think the, the, the people people are to be um, well, to be very Hygienic. Even if they never used to, it would be, should be more hygienic and yeah. try their best. And the, but I, I would uh, like to ask about the biscuit and the breads and things that you pick up in the store. Where do we them? You take off them clothes too. The biscuit and the bread. Yes, and the flour and the um, probably you can clean the outside. Cause all right, what I know up I mean some places. As actually, when you when you're entering their places of business, they're actually spraying their hands now. And I was explaining it to a girlfriend of mine. I was telling her that when you think about it, it's a good for me. It's a good step forward because spraying your hands by the time you get to the shelf with the goods on it and you pick up check um check restrics and you pick up your goods by the time you get to the cashier to handle your money and anything else then. You would have, yeah. you know, yeah, not yeah, transferred you anything. Have money where thousands of people still carrying. No, that's what I'm saying. All right, let me see if we can explain it. So you're entering my supermarket, right? Yeah. And they spray your hands. So yeah. by the time you get to the goods, your hands would have been disinfected already. And you're not going to touch the money until you're ready to come by the cashier. So by the yeah. time you touch those stuff, your, your, your goods would have been packaged and you're on your way out. So the advice would be when you get home, don't bother to start, hey Julian, walk on, don't bother to start taking out the stuff until you've washed your hands. Yeah. Then you can go ahead. It, like, it's, get something to wipe off the... Right, right. So, so get a disinfecting wipe and wipe off the outside of the packets that you have. It's not, it's not like, it's not going to totally eliminate it, but at least it will reduce. You know, so we, we, we can't be paranoid about it, you know, but we still have to be as cautious as possible. And, hygiene and, and the water bottles, that's why the juice bottles, you can wash them off. Yeah, man. You understand? Yes, you whatever can, can, even the tins that you're going to use. Yeah, I always do that, you know, Carla. I always wash my tins, you know. 
Yeah, I do that too. I do that yeah, too. I always wash my top of my things and things before me. So it's it's all if you have been a clean person before, a hygienic person, then this shouldn't be a problem for you. What one of the worst things is touching your face. It's hard not to touch your face. Why well, not to touch your face? Because sometimes some mosquitoes are flying in your face. I will immediately I fly or something. If very hard and most time people are considered hard and they and then too and I use all every jar, you know. <laughs> You ever notice that? That's true, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you wash your face, so that's, uh, that's why I said the best thing to do is practice more hygienic. Yes, more most, hygienic most, I agree with you. It's one of the only ways we are going to eliminate it for real, so yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, because even the Prime Minister the other night, I see him and him said, him say, when him did attack, him say you shouldn't touch him and uh, whatever, and then after he touched him, he said, did I just touch my face? Right. I mean, Right, you know, so it's a minor for the young kids and a lot of young kids and people. You know, I remember enough time. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, so, so it's just it's, the education. Right, a little bit more education. I know people can be a little bit more educated, but I, I don't know if you can hardly help with this. You only have to just try your best. Yes, that's my take. I just try to encourage. Right, and not panic, to... right? Not panic, yeah, just... Not panic. Right. Not panic. This will too will pass. Yes, it... it... Yeah, man, All right, <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah, All right. Okay, like every other disaster, whatever, it will pass. Yes, it, it should pass. pass. Okay. Well, hoping it take much out of North Jamaica, we, like we take well, it. Well, well, I know we're going to yeah. see. We're going to see some deaths out of it. Yeah, man, we don't have to go with continent yeah. and trust. Yeah, and just so. pick, it, pick up and go again, you know? Yeah, man. Bless him. All right. Thank you so much for calling. All right. So someone on our Facebook is saying, can you, we get anything from the other one? I don't see how we are going to escape the effects. First world countries are not prepared to deal with it and are struggling terribly to care for their people. What is going to happen to little Jamaica? We'll be cautious and do our part and leave the rest to God. Tell you something, man. Before it eat Jamaica, I can't remember Tuesday morning I was on Styles and I was saying to them, we, we don't have the capacity. And I remember when I said that um, there's a hospital going to waste in St. Thomas, nice big hospital. And if them fence it up properly and do what they're supposed to do, it can be used because, as me said, the place is big. Them just need to do some quick clean up with some of the money that they have and make sure the center must cover them. If nowhere else not covered, the residents, the citizens of center must is covered, you know, because that's a nice place. Good night. Big Welcome up. to Real Talk. Big up on yourself. Big up on yourself. All right, um, big up Donald, big up all of the people that we are listening. Now, <laughs> we don't know if everybody really understands the magnitude of what is before us. I want to say us, my talk, the world itself. Yeah. And we have to big up Sister P, big up I'm on Black. I was hoping he would Sandra. call. Yeah, big up Sandra. Big up Shelly. Right? And there's a reason why I'm a big up them people. Eh? Because from inception, and even before now, I know Dr. Ayman Black, Sister P, did an advocate towards certain things, and I pretty much increased the knowledge. And Sarah's FM might not be a station of bright people, but we're a station of people with wisdom. But understand, sir, a lot of what is happening now is really nothing new. And it's really how much you absorb what you are being told. Yeah. Right? When a man like that has a boy, he reads certain things and he reads certain books. It is excellent. Yes. True. Who does him for that? We have to look upon a bigger picture. This is not a government issue, right? The government were placed before us to put certain things, make policies and put certain things in place. You know, I want to think when we kind of recognize how we as a people have gone to treating government as God, right? And one of the reasons why we treat government as God is because a lot of persons actually believe in it so much that is the reason why no of you would not have the moral authority to even ask for anything of the government who are supposed to place before to serve us. 
because if you have a spell, literally, sell your vote, you have sold your right. Yeah. So you have now become the servant of who's supposed to be serving. So when we have a situation like this and we say it a play out how persons start to buy up things and feed them yard alone, have all of the rice, all of the flour, all of the sugar. But your neighbor sick. Your neighbor need it too. Yeah. The doctor we're supposed to serve, you need it too. The teacher we're supposed to, at the end of the day, have a healthy life to come teach your youth. So when everybody dead and feel your picking and you and your family alone, alive, how can your family survive alone? We, you know, in our culture right now, of unity, it's about self. True. Right? It's not mankind. It's man and kind. And that's how we I demonstrate this whole thing. If you have a TV to them, I, 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 I have a buy them in the supermarket, then come around, come sell them back to a higher price. It's an opportunist way, right? Of selfless, of selfless. Mm-hmm. Hey, let me show you something. Can we go for the break and come back? Yeah, man. All right. The time is now... Asala, Asala, 11.34. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services, located right here at 4 Bombrook Avenue in Port Antonio. Real Talk is also sponsored by Nestle, that's Native Entertainment Stage and the Lighting Services, also located right here at 4 Bombrook Avenue. We're going somewhere for a break. We'll soon come back. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Holy golly! <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune what tune? Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7, only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony, shotgun to the pain. Budget. You know what I just realized? How come fear shop always full? And you can barely count the amount of people who come in a Femi shop. Then you know see fear shop get international. A Styles FM she a mind our business with. Styles FM fit you? Yes. A time you mind your business. Same like how she a mind our business. And a sponsor one show past Styles FM. I say you feel mind your business. And take out one package and sponsor one of their show too. She a get ads. She a get mentions. Our business I get chat about. I want me to you. Mind your business. Yes, that's right. You can sponsor a program on Styles FM. Starting as low as $4,000 per month. Conditions apply. Contact us today at 876-993-3358 or 876-518-2399. Styles FM, get your business out there. Mind your funky business. Mind your funky business. Leave me alone. Mind me, leave me alone. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. All right, welcome back to Real Talk here on Styles FM. We are in the last couple of minutes going out. Big up to everybody that's locked and listening and also those on our social media pages. Yeah, man, thanks for staying with us. So we still have a caller on the line. You're there? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. 
Yeah. Let me say, this thing is not a, a government issue. But there are three things where most countries invest in. One of them is very broad. I'm going to tell you that, that the very broad one first. Research and development. Yeah. Very broad what in research and what in, what in develop can be anything, including maybe what we are facing now. Yeah. But the other two, I hope that our people, our government, look. Major countries develop them army, and there's a reason for that. And major countries spend a lot of money and then healthcare them hospital. Yeah. And there's a link between the healthcare and the army. Yes. A healthy country can fight strong. Amen. Right. And it is clear cut the reason why. Look what go on with the people in Italy. First yeah. world country and they go through this situation, large population, but 200% increase and evil doctors are no longer doctors. Everybody they on one level. Yes. Yes. Right? So Surgeries cancelled. When, 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 when me listen to that thing there, you know, and me realize it's almost like a, a, a reality check me get when yeah. you hear that, you know. I'm a, I'm a general, I know it's a long time Shelly had talked about this something here. This is a long time Daniel had talked about certain and certain things. A long time Dr. Black and Sister Pierre talked about certain things. Because, yes or no, we have been talking about what the poor people, them want clean drain, bush road. Yeah. Clean drain, bush road. Fix one road, give one contract. This, that, one out of the contract. The partner say the quality. Mm -hmm. But yet still, the health care and the way how you police things and regulate things yeah. isn't happening. Now, when you lock down almost a seven mile and nine mile a bull bear in place there, where the resource come from with all of them, all of them um, seat of emergency places there? Where the resource come from for police that level of containment? Yeah. When we talk to some of my Chinese friends, them two days ago, them said one of the first things in the government do a lockdown Wuhan. Yeah. You can't go in, you can't come, come out. out. Well, come out, come out already. Yeah. And try to trace them, but no matter what, you can't go in there. You can't, you come, can't out. come out. There. Yes. That is what contributes to them success rate. Yes. Now, the reactiveness of how long it takes we to close the ports because everybody talks about economy. Yeah. If you have dead people, you're telling me dead too. Exactly. If you have sick people, and there's a domino effect. If your workforce is sick, the economy is dead. It's stagnant. So, we think the part there is what me and me and me and me and me and me and error will make because this virus has been imported. And if you listen to the language of the government, the first imported case. Right. Well, we are playing with words, you know. Yes. So when you say the first imported case, that gives you a sense of, so you know, you know the Anna Jamaica is really there, as somebody come in with it. Yeah. This is how the, this is how the Jamaica no problem culture come in, you know. So everything good, man. As somebody from foreign care team. Yeah. Me said to a bridge in what year, two days ago, when I bridge in a reason, and we're talking about the, 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 the funeral where she allegedly go and who she meet and greet and hug up and blah blah blah. Me say, yo, me dan, me, me tell you this. And one thing me know, when enough women come from find them come down and find a little man too. Yeah. You have a little ex man and they have a little man with their yard. We yeah. share a link. Yeah. Sent to the brethren. Me say, brother, what about who she meet and greet? What about who with whom she sleeps? Yeah. And when she gets fine, oh, with whom she sleep, they are the they sleep. So when she comes to boom and evil, there's certain place and them done with them, do, that person gone to somebody else. Yeah. So when we are, when we are locked up and she quick, yeah. there is another part to the, to, to the dynamics where them forgot and see them find him now. The one this with them, they beat him, what 
Mm -hmm. That means say it because it, 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 certain things are just natural. As human, that's certain things where you are sought after is companionship and passion. Yeah. It's true. So, right away, they miss the ball they saw. So a when couple balls were dropped, road, though. When that youth up on the road, and I do him, I do after them whole land, and she and them start check father, and check this and check that. One to the lover. They weren't thinking. One. Them to that more Falcon, Chris, and Diana, she and all them, when you watch. <laughs> I saw the thing go. But... So, when I say to the people them in general, in a Port Antonio, we're casual with this thing here. So we never ask if we do for me, Shelley. Yeah. We start putting certain things in the office, and when you look at it, because I don't know they're nowhere near the way how it needs to be. No one else. We can protect our office, our office uh, staff home, as well as the visitors to style. Because guess what? No. Me, it's a white case pharmacy. The city. I'm glad to then wait. You can't go in a white case pharmacy right now. Okay. They set up some chairs from the outside and then serve you from the from from the from the thing there. Yeah. Because let me tell you this. You see, yes, them put the alcohol on your hand. Yeah. And as I say, you touch this and you touch the money and blah blah blah. Well, after they put put the alcohol on your hand and you rub your nose and like a piece of bugle come on your hand. <laughs> sure. On your finger. And you wipe up the bugle in your clothes, but yet still what the bugle have done they put on your finger tip down. No. Yeah. We just we done alcohol and the alcohol burn off the, the that burn off fast. Yeah. So people not remember that part there. We talk about realness. We're not talking about Yeah, because you know, you're gonna touch your feet. Like it's kinda inevitable. Like it's hard not to touch your face. So But, but and even the face when the cashier when you rinse the bubble upon your finger. And, the, and you take up that they sit there and give the cashier and the cashier take it from you. Where do you think of one right there, sir? Well, they're, like, they're giving the cashiers the gloves. Right there, sir? And notice that the cashiers, most cashiers are wearing gloves. What is that all about? Most cashiers, I see them wearing gloves. My girl, my mother said they sit there for the gloves, too, you know? Yeah, but I guess if they're going to touch themselves, they're going to take off the gloves and wash their hands. You know what I noticed though? Most of the persons wearing the gloves and the mask, like they wear them all day. And then they, they wear the mask on the nose and then they pull it down below them chin. There. And I'm like, no, brother or sister, once you wear it, well, you're supposed well, to take it off that, and discard it. Well, well, we know that the mask you know, is really to prevent you who possibly who could have the virus from giving somebody else. No, that's not, how, that's not the reason why people are wearing it. They're wearing it no, because they think it protects it. them from getting it. Right, right, right. But it's really the way, the opposite. But it's a good thing doing it, you know, even though the mindset is different. You know, thanks for it because you might not want to give me. <laughs> but, you know, big up on yourself, it's a nice show here. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Cool. Right, so that's um, I mentioned it, but that's one thing to look at. If I see you in a mask, I'm definitely walking far from you. Mm -hmm. Yes, because wearing the mask indicates that you are trying to protect me from something. Hey, Vanessa, what's up? Mm -hmm. It says to me that you are trying to protect me from what you have, mm -hmm. and not necessarily you try not to get something that's out there. So I tell people education is going to be the the, the bigger picture that we are seeing for real education is gonna be the bigger picture yeah tell you something yeah. when we say up now yeah government has allotted so much money to try and combat this thing but when we are begging them to upgrade the hospitals man you know ensure that the staff have equipment to work in them Ensure that you pay your nurses and especially your nurses well. So they won't give them benefits that will make them stay in the country. What I say, my hospital, you know? Hey, most, hospital look here, right, right now, now, we don't have the capacity. Yeah. The medical, we don't have the, the, enough staff to same cover hospital, this. You know? Right now, you know, the same hospital. We are rebound back, pan and xyz with these hospital because we don't have the capacity of beds 
No, remember, you know, and, they, and they, they've sent them sending for beds and them something, you know. But what uh, we say is that, hold on, I'm coming here, Daniel. What I'm saying yeah. is, they have, remember, the money that they allot is to get some yeah. beds yeah. and to get what we call ventilators. Can let yeah. me explain. Mm. Daniel, you can't give me one minute for explain this. Yeah, let me tell you, let me explain what the ventilators will do. I mean, you I see, when you cannot minutes, breathe yeah. on your own, yes. because that's what this um, virus does to you, it attacks yes. your respiratory you system breathe, and your lungs. That's it. And if you cannot collapse. breathe on your own, you your need something collapse. to breathe for. Your lungs are collapse. That's what the ventilators yes. are for. Yeah. So imagine somewhere like Italy, who had had to build. Two hospitals, 1,000 bed capacity, bro, even though they are bigger places. But I may say to you, Jamaica, what, 3 million mm. we live here? Mm. Can I say this? Little yeah. over 3 million of mm. us. No, mm. tell me, if 20,000 Jamaicans supposed to get the COVID 19 virus, what happened to it? Done. Where I said, Donald? Uh, 20,000, we talk about you now. Me just say 20,000 out of 3 million. I, I like that. All right, yes, Donald, what you say? Shall we are talking about hospitals? Yes, man. We are still at talking about the hospital. And then I can't tell about Both that. Both the hospital mm-hmm. yeah. can be expanded. Yeah. Government now to do it. We are talking so about now. The hospital can be expanded. Yeah, but we are talking about now. In the stage right, right now. Right now we are talking about, man. Yeah. Government now to do it. Yeah. KPH hospital, one of the best hospitals in the Caribbean. Every time. Needs to be expanded. And, up, and upgraded, it needs to be refurbished and everything needs to be done there. Everything needs to be done at that hospital, man. Yeah. But it's not going to get done. Yeah. Because that government not going to do it. Every single parish in Jamaica need a type A hospital. The workload will drop on KPH, you know, in a Jamaica, you know. It's a, it's a workload that would cripple any country, you know. Mm. But yeah, but Donald, it is so. Hear me, yeah. hear me. The workload with KPH have no other hospital in Jamaica now have that. Yeah. You understand what I said? Yeah. And government now pay attention to them places there. You see Christopher Tufton? Mm-hmm. The man them give basket to carry water. Me don't know why, <laughs> but. Them give basket to carry water, but the man I work. Yeah. And the man work hard. Yeah. To make sure that he fulfill his mandate. Mm-hmm. Shelly just touched a little thing a while ago. I was, I, I was completely taken aback when I realized how much nurses were getting paid in Jamaica. You understand? Mm-hmm. Criminal. To even think of it. You see me, I say? But here is me to you. Governments across the world will not pay attention to poor people. Government now have no interest in them. You understand? You hear poor Satan Miller used to come, Oh, I love the poor. Yes, you love the poor when you stay poor. You understand? Can I, ask you, can I ask you a question? And I'm asking this question of everybody who's listening. Who yeah. we think are going to suffer the most when... Corona finish with Jamaica. The most poor people, man. All right. The most poor people. Mm-hmm. The poor people are going to suffer the most, you know. Because they don't have the resources. They don't have nothing for even protect themselves. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And government now have no business, no idea. Hey. I tomorrow, man, and I want to listen to the boy at the Palm Phone Station. I want to hear what I'm going to have to say, man. Mm. Because here's me to you right now. Mm-hmm. We live in our country when none of we not care about none of we. Yep. Everybody care about M O N E. Yep. Why? Money. Yep. Nobody no love nobody no more. It's all about no, they have no interest in the people no more. Yep. Everybody get caught up in that this money rush. Me keep telling right them, now, Donald. When a virus yeah. comes to make the rich man richer and the poor man poorer. Donald. Yeah, no, son. Donald. Yeah. Me keep telling them every time 24-7. Right? 24-7. And money. 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 
Yeah, I yeah, love you know, if develop really wait, 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 wait. Money, money, right? Make love flow. Money, make we eat and drink. Money, make the bills pay. Money, make we live. So it's all about money. You yeah, get me saying? You give a prestige. Yeah. You can put money as the center for you know, everything, you know. You must, hey, our generation, our generation not teach the new generation nothing, you know, man. We don't teach them nothing, you know. Donald. They got like a ball about them a millennium kids and millennium, millennium my, my millennium what? Donald. And we, the parents, not teach them nothing. Donald, yeah, and money control the world. I don't say no. I don't say no. So you put money in front of everything, you know. Money control the world. No love, yeah, no, no more. You can't put money in front of people's life. Hey, in front of what? People's life. Donald, money will make your life go longer and further. I'm going to tell you that. Make your life go less, that. Come on now. If you don't have no money, you can take up yourself and see a good one. Go, go get um, um, dialysis. And you don't have money? Or you're going to reach yourself? Well, when we touch dialysis, you've been yeah. about money in the dead long time. Come on, man. Right. I say money run the world. You know what I said? Money right. run the world. Love and then something else. There's no more. First is the Bible where we read from. And again, no sense. I'll leave the Bible because the British. Monarchy, are two things in the world are sex and money. The same Bible tells us that you the, may love, tell the love, love of money is all evil. Why you put lo, lo, when you put love in there, you know, money coming from love, it and you attach love it. Love of money that creates all evil. Me say, a sex and money run the world. Listen to Sex I'm and money. Me not care when nobody wants to say. You can't tell me about no religion. You can't tell me about, about, about love and them something there. And money and sex run the world. Yes, that's well. We know that. Me but don't we talk. Anybody who can't religion. come to me and say X, Y, Z, that is it. You can't we tap it up any way they want to tap it up. Me I tell you. Especially, we need to change the mindset. We need to start love people. Donald. That is a, them days are done. Donald. Yeah. Um, I have a question, right? Uh, did you, um, how much of us know that petitions can be some powerful weapons? Petitions? Yes, petitions. Wow. Petitions. You don't think petitions can be used as powerful tools? I don't think so. No, oh, you'd be surprised. I tell you something, you know. Hey, Bob. I'm going to tell you this. Mm-hmm. We have governments that have been changing and changing in Jamaica. Our Jamaica, our beautiful, lovely country, mm-hmm. which has some of the most innovative people in the world, mm-hmm. has been rife with corruption. Corruption in all aspects, every angle of it. Yes. You understand? And I totally agree. And I can agree. tell you this. I can tell you this. Any day, any day we put in a government, any day we vote for 62 or 112 or 120 people, we can really fall in love with Jamaica and the Jamaican people and not fall in love with getting rich and richer of the Jamaican people. Then we will have a damn good country. When you ever see that? Man, I don't that guy in a long time. Work at it. That not come back again. That guy and done yeah, with a long time. That's in our lifetime prestige, but if we start work at it. Work where? Uh, a different something on my youth. We can't start from somewhere. We can't start from somewhere. Come the on, Donald. We can't left, right, and center. Yeah. And get the we as a people. Now I see that. Hey, when we drive to Jump Channel, when we drive to Jump Channel, you can hear this? I can hear this. You hear that? You hear me? I hear When you said to me, I know it's not back, I can't even come back in this time. So I said, Jamaica, I have no chance then. Chance where? Okay. 
You know what? Okay. With what? Okay. We just have to live a can to where you're going now. Donald. <laughs> I tell me, I tell you. I'm going Nothing to go. Not change. All right, my boss. For the good. Me, I, me, I, me and for the better. Sense. Me have a little. I hope you live to us to so see that. Eh? I hope you live to see that. Me not have my hopes up. But I, mean, I have a little thing in my brain when me eat things that uh, yeah. can be saved. I don't know about Shelly and, and Cassidy and Nicky. I don't have any hopes up. up you Some get me? I'm a moral aspect. You can't change it. I am just so here living. Change. I am here living. And we just want to live. And make sure I have a dollar there and then. And I just can just live. And just live my life the best I can live my life. Me not gonna see nothing, not now change panel level and unless it just change drastic and something just boom like we're watching a movie and just come down and just, everything just change. Well, well, put it this way, right? It's it's talk like these where we're gonna stay where we are. But Donald, uh, I'm gonna ask you a come favor. Come on, now, Shelley. All right. No, uh, no, me not think, me not think so. I'm gonna ask so, you a favor, Donald, because yeah. you speak from a level of intelligence. And I like that most of the time that you talk, it's from a neutral ground. And you are indeed a learned person and an informed person. Now, a lot of our kids, and I know only the boys alone, they need to be mentored. Right? You can put yourself in a position where you go into our schools and our universities and speak. Listen. If you touch Listen. one person, you would have touched Yes, Many. To Shelly, we've been doing that's that over the years. And what you are Shelly. saying. What you are saying. Hold on, a man. A while ago. Yeah. Hold on. What? A while ago. Hold on. Wait, Shelly. Hold on. Come um, on, now. Donald, I have never, right, yeah. seen a video or a picture or anything of you doing it, right? Yeah. So if, if you have been doing it, yeah. then kudos to you. Yeah. And you need to continue. Yeah. Right? But here's yeah. what I'm going to to you right now. Mm -hmm. This is schools, universities, mm -hmm. and them places, the colleges. Them don't send out the most intelligent people, you know. You know that? You know, so I rap them, I rap poor people with this PhD and this MHP and DPP and all of them craziness that where them people are pushed out from piece of paper. You know, so I rap them, I rap the people, and you just start about petition. Why don't we send in a petition to make people know that? I rap them, I rap the people. 1976. How are you to make people get government work? Talk to me, you know what I go on. The same government work. Make sure you know what I go on, Daniel. How are you to make people used to get them government work? Eh? Eh? One something called Jamaica School Certificate, JSE. Used to make go people get government work. Mm. Used to make nurses. You used to make all of them things. No, no. come around with them system and change it to TXD. Someone ask you one question. Come around with them system and change it to O-levels. The, the I, man I'm wicked with them Donald, I am not refuting what you're saying, you know. But me, I say, right, you just I say, you want to change. Prestige, I tell yourself why. Even not see the change coming. No and change. And I'm saying to you, right, when we start our one, when we start at Portland. Our dear right? man. So even if the universities right. are rubbed out with the car now, we are. You see that parish our name Portland? Come on, man. Huh? That parish our name Portland like everything done for them. Yeah. Them not do nothing for themselves. Make sure you try this by, make yeah, sure you try with your talk about. about. Our name Portland, sit back and realize that they can make everybody. Yeah, man. You know what the business people in Portland? How much of them come from Portland? Mm. You notice the, the great developments were going on in Portland. How much of it is started by Portlanders? Eh? You look for all of the aspects of things that are going on in Portland. How much of it is being done by Portlanders? You understand what I mean? say? We parish need to start look for. Hey, we have a drive right now. Where we are drive, we say we can bring back the glory days to teach We have a drive. But we are driving to see if we can bring back the glory days to Titchfield. When Titchfield used to be, be Titchfield school in the east. Yes. When Titchfield extracurricular activities used to be the best thing in the east. When our academics was at the top, we were one of the best science schools in Jamaica. If you don't want to put it to the rest of the world. Yeah. 
Uh, you understand? And all of that has declined because of the situation of Portland. You understand? We get teachers in a Portland when I a business again with extracurricular activities. We get PE teachers in a Portland when I a business with the roundedness of children. We get PE teachers in a Portland when I a business with Britain and both to come at school. Everybody has seen about the salary at the end of the month and how them can drive one nice car, own a four bedroom house, and make sure to them are live good. All that we get selfish. Well, and I guess yeah, all of us are yeah. going to sit and, and enjoy that and well, appreciate what I, I don't know. I don't know with Shelly and Fia, a little sweet talk and all in kind of something there, and intelligence and all in kind of something there, and I realize what I go on. Yeah. Yeah. You have to work yeah. with the program and see what I go on. You know, so on the JTA president is a very good friend of mine, Owen Speed. Very good friend of mine. And sometimes when we're talking, you know, man, listen. The man of my trick, we are not my trick with some bad. The man of my I reverse in a slavery in reverse, you man. The man of my bring a right back to 200 years ago, you know, man. All right. You understand? Um, All the man of my try to do is make some of the house slaves and some of the slaves. He'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Donna, so we have basically come <laughs> to the end of the program. We are somewhat yeah. past 12 no o'clock. Yeah. Um, thank you so Every very time. much for participating. Yeah. It's always yeah. a yeah. pleasure. And not only a pleasure, but it's always educational to listen to you. Huh? Yeah. You have a lot of number. As long as I'm not going to call about consciousness. Give them, give, give them a number? number? All right, so I'm going to put Donald's number out there. It's 344-9887. Yeah, 344-876-344-9887 if you want to get in contact with Donald and Wola. One reason, that's it. Consciousness. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, Consciousness. Every time, oh. consciousness. Every time, you know what I mean. And right, we have so to apologize. So we listen, Adin. So we never touch on the topic for tonight. Yeah, man. Um, but you know well, put it this way: yeah. it's a matter of this yeah. is something that's happening right day. now, yeah. and that is the reason why yeah. we basically yeah. stay. So three nine three saying yeah. Donovan is so right. So yeah. yes. So we're sorry about not getting into the vax vax pop. Yeah. tonight but tonight, don't yeah. worry yeah. you know we're going to touch it mm. and you'll definitely get to hear that but this is happening this is happening real time mm. right now and that's the reason why we have to adjust it and flesh out the thing mm -hmm. all right so think about it this way now it will get worse before it gets better mm -hmm. that much i'm gonna say to everybody that's listening Right? It will get worse before it gets better. None of us don't know who is going to become infected with this virus. But in the meantime, try and protect your immune system. Right? Eat right. If you never use the exercise, start get up early in the morning and walk over one hill till you can walk slow, till you can walk fast, till you can run over the hill. But try and build because it's your respiratory system oh, that yes, will be put to the test. Yeah. Your body has to can stand up to the rigmarole that this virus might do to you. Mac we don't know up. what to expect. Mac all right? Um, the same food, Yeah. use it to enrich your body. Do yeah. just try to see all this. Kind of yes, dark green leafy yeah. vegetables, yeah. use them up. Mm -hmm. They protect our bodies, yeah. right? Protein build your muscles and, and, and your flesh, yeah. right? Protein build a better body. Mm. So see how much if a fish you eat, eat a little bit more fish and see how mm. much you can keep yourself mm. healthy as possible. Lemon because juice and all Yes, something. your lemon water, your lemon yeah. juice. Yeah. If you have plump on the tree or apple, mm. your man mix it and mm. blend them and drink them like water. Lots of vegetables. You right? Know I mean? Lots of yeah. vegetables, lots yeah. of fruit. Protect yeah. yourself Fruits, yeah. by being hygienic. Yeah. The same little thing them tell you to wash your hand when you are cough, coughing mm. on your clothes, mm. cover your mouth with a piece of napkin and throw it with a piece of wipe and mm. throw away that and wash your hands. If you have elderly and sick people, yeah. don't go hug them up and grounds them with your mm. work clothes and touch them with mm. your hand and something. Or your children, try and protect them. Them, right, mm. we know that a lot of persons will be out of jobs. Yes, we, we, I, I have to say, Don't I'm sorry, stress yourself about that. but not stress yourself over it. It's yeah, better you're home, mm -hmm. you are safe, yeah. and you will live. Figure go back at the same work yeah. or get a job because this is mm. some sort of an emergency. Because let me tell you, no, something, yeah. may I take a couple of minutes, please? Yeah. The virus out there already. 
three yeah. quarters of the people yeah. that these infected persons came in contact with are not yet contacted. Mm -hmm. So government don't get to them yet. Three. And they have been all over and Jamaica, here. one little place. It's here. So believe me, it's Two out there. Million. Your money out there. Yeah. It's out there and it's yeah. going to get to every parish. Yeah. No parish now going to escape Two it. Two points of million. Right? And if the United States, we have, we have um, our um, 300 and add million. You get me, I say? United States, 300 and million. And over 100 and something countries have right? no. And, 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 and you see what I go on in the United States. They have over about 300 and million no, people. Right now. And you see what I go on in the United States. Italy? And we, we just a fraction, just a little dot. Pan the map. Just like so, that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell. With, hmm? with, with what? With what? Um, two points of million. Two points of million comparing to 200 and million in the United States. We just had that pan the map. So we have to look out and realize can we can't just wipe off like that in no time. Well, more people recover from it than that. We're not talking about no recover. But we have to tell him just like how it is. We're yeah, not we picking up the thing. But um, we're not telling you to, to panic and be to paranoid. To panic. It's not right? a panic thing. But, but we just you, tell you, you all the things that. You have to practice precaution yes. because you don't know. We Jamaican, we have to tell him like that, you know, because right. we see, you know, are we stubborn, you know, and we like panel every day, and so we see a Jamaican, you know. We Jamaican. Because we live in a United States, you come like a nothing to we, you're, you're, you're up there, you know. If you're in a United States, everything is fine. We're there Jamaica, you know. We just live. Because we're up there, so we're panicking in a United States, you know. But we're there Jamaica, we just live. It's not like that. So, we're not telling you to hide up out of bush. We're not saying hide country. nothing. Yeah, if you can go up a country, Protect you alone yourself. on the hillside, then yes. fine, but... Yeah, protect you know, yourself and let, just let's do the thing. Educate then. yourself. Yeah. It's good to have do the thing information then. and correct yeah. information so you can just do like informed that. decisions. Do the if thing you then. if you not feel good, if you die your yard and you not feel good mm. and you, you have a feeling like you are catching the flow, stay warm. Because yeah. a long time I tell people, once you feel like you have you're catching the cold or you're catching the flu, stay in your yard. Because even though they are something where we experience over and over, there are still viruses and other people can't catch it. That's why when one somebody's sick in our workplace, mm. everybody else is sick too. Right? So we just have to be cautious. No, it not only affect the elderly, it's mostly the elderly die from it. Yeah. So I say this to say, if you don't feel well, stay warm in our room in your house and call your health department. So get your emergency numbers up and running. Find out the number for the hospital, them, for whomever. So that if you feel one certain kind of way, don't come out, take a taxi or take a bus for you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Call and find out how best what you're supposed to do. And remember, you know, there's no cure for it. So going to the hospital don't mean that you're going to get something for it and you're miraculously going to feel better. Right? So if you can stay home and nurse yourself, and if you feel yourself getting worse and you're, you're having problems breathing and all of that, then get to your nearest health facility. Call them so that they can find out how to get to you and how to get you to a facility, all right? And I definitely know that we'll talk some more on this. I know Styles FM continues, right? And all of our presenters will definitely I will update me, uh, you on information. And you'll see me again on Tuesday. Yes. Prestige is uh, uh, on uh, uh, yeah. Monday. Shelly, we have to make a note to because we Jamaican sometimes we pretty up some something and we pretty up some something and we talk some something more time and we know what time it is because we Jamaican are so we stay so you get me <laughs> so we know they the pretty pretty business this is not a joke so, virus um, all right so, yeah yeah i yes, mean i want yes, get to know pan a panic level eh? right. but make you know, know what time it is Let's be cautious. Yes, have a good yeah. one, everybody. Good stay blessed, be, yeah. stay safe, and stay hygienic. All right. Just it like was that. a pleasure being Follow here. Shelly sitting in.